I'd love you to love me. I'm begging you to beg me. Want you to want me. I want you to want me. I want you to want me. I want you to want me. <laughs> anyway, hello. That was I Want You To Want Me by Cheap Frick, which is one of my fucking favourite songs ever. Fucking love it so much. I've been listening to that a lot lately, in, in particular though, because I, I was I was sort of reading up on the whole uh, Tobuscus, <laughs> Tobuscus um, drama, and the sort of a trend across that is that he's really he really likes people to like him, and he really wants people to want him. So uh, that song feels appropriate. Anyway. Hello. Today, I right. If you watch the podcasts, if you watch the podcasts, you will last uh, last night. That is, it's on it's on it's on iTunes and SoundCloud now. If you want to listen to it, uh, I spoke, and we sort of made the joke about me making a, uh, a a Cameron David Cameron pig fucking simulator. Ooh, shush of the computer. Uh, a David Cameron pig fucking simulator, and in the, it be it for the vibe. And I'm planning to make this, by the way. Um, I sort of started out today in Unity, and the idea is uh, you sort of dry. It's like you dry hump a pig, and you use the value controller to spank the pig. And as you spank the pig, uh, you'll hear David Cameron quotes such as "the money was just resting in my account," or "I can't point to every source of the money," and so and so forth. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be called Hog Coffee, a political simulation. Anyway, as a result of this, I, you know, today I was messing around with game development a bit. I can't game development, really, because I called it can't game development. <laughs> I went with Unity uh, purely because I understand Unity, basically, and also it's free, and also I think it has Vive support. I'm not entirely sure. Who knows? I am actually going to do this. I'm actually going to learn Unity because it's such a simple thing as well. Like it's a, it's it's a single model, right? It's a pig model in a room, and you just have to when the vibe controllers hit it, it plays a sound. And I want jiggle physics though, which might be harder. But either way, it's a very I weren't I was joking initially, but now I'm not because it's such a simple idea that I want to make it because it sounds fucking funny. And I swear to God, I want to put it on green light and get it up. Just, I like the pun hog coffee as well. Props to, I think it was Dan that came up with that one. Anyway, this is, when I say this is a lesson in video game development, this is a lesson in not, what not to do in video game development, because, ladies and gentlemen, I am not playing hog coffee. I'm not going to be showing you me developing hog coffee. I'm at near the end. No, ladies and gentlemen, I, here today, for your viewing pleasure, your excellent and joint and, and, and cooperation, will be playing for you today... That's right. Don't go anywhere. I'll be playing. Uh, mm. Oh, yeah. Come on. Mm. I'll be playing the entirety. That is right. The entirety of Digital Homicide's collection of games. That is correct! I bought all of them for two dollars on their fucking itch.io and I'm fully fine with that! <laughs> this! I'm starting off with the one and only the Slaughtering Grounds and I shall be moving onto all the other collections. I think they have like six games on Steam. I have all, I have all the other all the games as well that are on Steam. There's a couple I don't have because they weren't in their collection and they were charging full price for them and fuck giving them more than two dollars. So... <laughs> uh, honestly, right, for two dollars, I think anything has value, even if it's shit. And frankly, 
even if these games are terrible, there was clearly eff some effort put into them. Making this is not... Even though it wasn't... This is not a good game, and it's a terrible game. But, he's clearly spent some time on it. Maybe not effort, but time. And, you know, two dollars for, you know, probably a good, you know, year's worth of game development time. Fine, whatever. But, your promised game is not this. Well, I, no, I didn't say your games. I said it was a lesson in game development. Which is a very vague statement. Very vague statement. And as a result, as a, as a special reveal now, I... As you can see, my, my, my mouse is hovering over the music on button because <laughs> I wanted to turn. That was a nice look. Honor getting better at streaming. Look how professional that fucking introduction was. That was great. That was great. Anyway, let me tweet this first of all. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I was going to leave this on a special occasion, but you know what, I felt like this was the time. I feel like I need to know specifically what not to do. And I really know what not to do, but I kind of want to make sure I know not what to do. Because I know not what to do, but you know not what to do, and I don't, don't, don't know, know what not to do. Do, do. <laughs> it is repeating. It will be just this for the whole thing. Uh, as far as I know, uh, they don't actually, it doesn't change. Even in the game, it doesn't change, so... Better get used to this audio, I can turn it off, but I feel like, you know, I have to play it, and I want to put you through at least some pain. So, um... <laughs> oh, oh, baby! I'll turn it down a bit, though, because it's rather loud for me. <laughs> um... Actually, turn it down a bit. Oh, no, no. There we go. Righty! <laughs> this is not what to do. Yeah. It is not what to do. This is why it's a lesson in game development. Lesson in what not to do in game development. Anyway, let's try. I saw Jim Sterling play this, obviously, from the... Why is... Why is his model facing the wrong way? I left this. I opened this up a while back. And when I... I, I noticed the game's running in the background. He was facing forward when I started. And somehow he's just turned himself the other way. And they have no stats, either. Like, you notice that I have stats here. That I could upgrade, and these these have no weapon stats. Oh, I have to purchase them. That's why they. Do I have any money? No, I have no money. Fine. Ah, <sighs> dearie me. Right. Shotgun will do. I'm not turning the music down for you. You have to put. What the fuck? Oh right, yeah, there is a multiplayer for this game. There's one player. I did click single player. I want to put this out. I did click single player. I do not want to play multiplayer. Can I equip the game? Great! Amazing! For oh, great! Oh, it's going well. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked single player. It brought me to a server list and had no back button. And when I press escape, it just quit the game. Brilliant! At least it loads quick. <laughs> okay, single player. Single player. Did it crash? Oh, no! Oh, here we go! Alrighty. Oh my god. It's only at like 50 FPS, which, I mean, isn't great. Oh, what the f- it doesn't even pause. What? Where's my- Oh dear. I can't change- Okay, I can't change the FPS. Oh, my mouse is on the screen permanently. Ah! Ooh! Ooh, look at that! Ooh! That is sexy game design right there. That is a draw distance and a hot- Oh, look at the iron sights. The iron- Look at the fucking iron sights! The, the UI's in the fucking way, so I can't see the iron sights. <laughs> right. That destroyed the frame rate. Yay. <sighs> oh, dear. I won't be spending long on each of these games, by the way. I don't think there's terribly much in this game. I don't actually know what you do in this game. Now, he who does have a gun, can I get ammo? No, I cannot get ammo from him. He, obviously... That's ammo. I got ammo. Look at that. I know it is ne very next gen. It runs at 50 FPS, which, you know, evident by the fucking superior graphics here. Is that a skeleton? Why do they still make noise when they do? I don't actually know what the aim of this game is, aside from it being like a, a horde thing. How long is I suffering? 
Well, uh, looking at my Steam library, there is... Ooh, I see a shadow. Oh, that's... Oh. What's the point in the different enemies if they all die in one shot? Uh, you have these big, strong guys with things, and you have the small guys, but they all die in the same amount of hit, so none of them have any more health than the others. Which kind of defeats the point of it, doesn't it? So, yeah, according to my Steam library, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight digital homicide games in my Steam library, and I probably have about ten more not on Steam. So, we're in for a wild ride tonight. Basically. Why is there only one song? Well, that's a great question. Uh, uh, digital home I've got the Slotting Grounds, Temper Tantrum, Galactic Hitmen. Medieval Mercs, Forsaken Uprising, Devil Share, Deadly Pro Deadly Prophets, Attrition, Nuclear Domination. And uh, on the uh, non-Steam side, I think I have the Extra Large ALT, the Extra Large Chesticle. And, and some other of the Digital Homicide classics. So, I will... Um, you're not going to do this. That's reasonable. Oh, good. He doesn't even... Do they not animate until they get close enough to them? Do they not even... Have an idle anime. No, they don't look. Look at them. They don't actually move until they get close to them. That's good. It's a bloodbath, apparently. I notice they have. Look at this. They have changed the blood overlay image since Jim did his video, so it's not. It's not literally. And not. Is that a magical girl? It's not literally a, a, a fucking JPEG. A JPEG of blood they got off Google and just got rid of the white. Using like the fucking GIMP cutout tool or whatever. They didn't even get a PNG. They didn't even search. There's a fucking color filter for transparency in Google Image Search. I mean, you can search blood and then say blood with transparency, an image with transparency. I have no health left. I, uh, I have no outlet. Okay. I don't get. Why did I spawn with 83% health? Why did I spawn with no ammo? What the. F right click to place what? Uh, why is the jam? I did such. The thing is, right? Well, I, I don't care about these digital homicide games necessarily. Is that they're so poorly designed? I don't get how. Because it's, it's obvious to me that the time, like, they put some time into it. And the time they put into this game, they could have actually done good. Cause these, these, a lot of this stuff is is lazy inherently. But it's not just lazy. It's it's something that. What? What? The, what? Where do I get ammo from? What? Is that ammo? That is... I have literally no idea! It has no user feedback whatsoever because this game is made by imbeciles! There we go, oh, there we go. Oh, brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Oh, such a good... Oh, yeah, bloodbath. Oh, yeah. Does it kind of annoys me that, like, it's, it's like it gives you so little ammo? It doesn't have any sort of because generally, in a game like this, I'm all be more sort of glowing and it'd be sort of made obvious. It isn't made obvious in this. You don't get enough ammo that you can have that kind of thing. I mean, look at it. It just looks like a fucking floating box. It isn't animated. It isn't. It's upside down. That is incredible. No, it's not incredible, mate. And look at all these. Look at all these fucking models. None of them fit. Try They're all again. different. They're all from different things. We've got a little girl who's. Uh, game over. Oh, yeah. I, I have 1,000. I need... Oh, I spawned right next to a zombie and have no weapon. There's not even a melee weapon. Where the fuck's this gun from? Oh, what? I didn't know I had this gun. How do I switch to that gun? Ah, one, two. Oh, three. Oh. Oh, it's a mine. Four is a mine. Right click to place is a mine. It doesn't work, though. I'm clicking four and it's not letting... Get Okay, we got British policemen. They are British policemen zombies. Am I? It doesn't give me the ammo for this gun. It, I, I, it doesn't say what the ammo for this gun is anywhere. Game over. I'm, I can still move when I'm dead. Good. I mean, this is so... Okay, here's a, here's a thing. Right, this, uh, game design is, is inherently difficult. I think game design inherently basics of game design aren't too hard. There's a lot of common sense. I'm walking, I'm going to stop now. Notice my health going down. I have no idea as the player that A, I'm getting hit, or B, where that hit is coming from. I just know my health's going down. Any other game will give you a visual indicator that you're being hit, like an ow, or you're, uh, like a shake effect. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? 
there'll be some red on the screen to indicate what direction the uh, thing is coming from. I mean, they've got the radar, but the radar is... I mean, you can see at the bottom right, there is a radar, but it doesn't... I don't know who is what. I don't know where I am on the radar. I, uh, why do I spawn with no health? Why do I spawn with no ammo? And how did I lose 20% health when there's nothing next to me? That's the worst thing. Yeah, it, yeah, so, yeah, the percent sign is the wrong way around. It says health percentage sign and the, the number bar. Why is there just a plain noise? Hang right on. I assume there's infinite stamina because I can see no stamina bar, but it's distinctly possible they just have put no stamina bar. Uh, can I go up that? Oh, alrighty. There's a nuclear power plant. There's this fucking thing. What is this? Try again. Try what? What? Try what again? Like, it's got this fucking thing. It clearly doesn't look like it belongs. It seems to be a lot of just mismatched kind of building assets. Like, you've got a nuclear power plant, sort of like, um, not a chimney, like a ch uh, that's a vaporizer, isn't it? Is that what it is? You got random assorted buildings. Is that supposed to be a power plant? Because there aren't any power related things here. Why are there zombies here? I don't have any context on what's going on, you see, is, is, is one of the distinct problems with this. Where did I, oh God, I have ammo. Alrighty. Uh, ooh, money. I, I, well, I, like, you need three grand to get another character. And I don't know why you'd want another character. Game over. Single cooling tower. Cooling tower. There we go. That's the, that's the word. Give up and cry. I'm already crying. Like, there's no... Listen, I'm jumping. No sound effects. No sound effects for running. No... This is the inherent thing with games. You need to give the user feedback to what they're doing. This applies to anything. Anything user-facing, whether it's a game or even a website or a book or anything user-facing. You need to be very clear to the user what's going on. Uh, it, it's... You give visual clues as to what's happening. I, and I can't... In a game like this, I can see what they wanted to do, right? And they've... Like, why? Are they 12? Is this... Like, I've... I, like, okay, you see the UI, right? <laughs> why would you want sound effects? No, I'm, I'm not a good game developer. I'm probably a good game director or producer. I'm good at directing people. That's what I'm good at. I'm not good at actual groundwork, but I'm very good at, like, overseeing things. Uh... The, um, yeah, the ammo counter does, doesn't change. Well, no, because there's different ammo, right? If I ran over ammo before, I think I got ammo for the, the pistol. Oh! Oh, the ammo only comes up when I... Oh, I see. It only shows... The ammo counter only shows the ammo for the gun you're holding. Even though the ammo counter is above the shotgun, which implies it's the shotgun ammo. not the... That's bad UI, you see. This isn't... See, I'm not bashing it necessarily. It is just pointing out bad UI element because bad, bad game design is a is the inherent problem in here. When you have mismatched thick, why, why is everything blue? Is it Blood Moon? That makes sense. Like, okay, number three, right? I, I can I can get the four is probably a tripwire, right? Oh, there it is. Right click the place. Yeah, okay. I know that's probably a tripwire, right? If they run over it, come on, run over it. Come on. Victory. Victory? There's a victory? I didn't win. They are running around the mine. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I can kind of understand what that is. What is three? It looks like a top hat. A really squished top hat. I've actually got it. Yeah, I don't know why the percentage size doesn't fit the number. Thing is as well, like, this is... Uh, often you see a lot of Russian developers on Steam. A lot of the Russian developers, they own English in the first language. You know, they, they make a lot of... Mistakes and you know, a get a proofreader first of all, or a translator if you're going to be selling it on a mainly English store base. Uh, but secondly, you know, you can understand this is made by two American guys, uh, and frankly, these bad, bad UI elements just. I mean, I've seen my. I remember being on MySpace when I was like fucking thirteen or whatever, and people having MySpaces like this with these really thick metal borders. That make them think they're cool. It's like, uh, oh, there's a timer in the top. Oh, there's a timer. 
for some reason it ticks to 1, then 0, then 60, and then 59. And it doesn't say 04, it's got the 4 for some reason with a big space, and then... So I have to survive for 4 minutes, I assume. They need... Uh, Ramon, James Ramon, and Robert Ramon. Ramon -y? Ramon Brothers, as they're known. And they, Digital Homicide have been uh, the, the topic of a lot of shady activities, as I'm sure Jim Sterling will tell you. Uh, Digital Homicide are in fact suing Jim Sterling. Uh, just FYI. And they are suing Jim Sterling for defamation. And, um, no, you know, actually, they do have some justification behind them. Because, inherent, and not against Jim, no, but there is some justification in, in the sense of that they have been, uh, the target of a lot of abuse from Jim's fans. That's not Jim's fault. It's not his responsibility to, to coddle them. But I can see why they'd be annoyed. But at the same time, Jim points out all these same problems I'm pointing out in this. Bad UI. Bad fucking user design. I'm going to go until the time runs out, by the way. I'll go for another 3 minutes 50 if I survive for that one. I, I, there's nothing really stopping me just running around. I don't know why I have to kill people. Because I don't seem to get much... There's a, oh, there's a fucking sound effect for that. Try again. Try what again? What, what are you telling me to try again? Why is the frame rate so... I'm getting, I'm getting 17 when I look in this direction. 17 FPS. I'm sure you can all notice that. <sighs> oh yeah, they want to sue them for like 8.5 million. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, but the, they're suing them for um, defamation of character and... Um, sort of abuse, I think. I, I, I don't know the exact term. Try again. Why does it keep telling me that? But there's no difference because I, I'm criticizing. I'm not bashing them. I'm not bashing their character. I haven't sent anyone to attack them. I bought their game. I'm telling that their games are shit. They don't run well. They are badly designed. That's, that's it. I, you could call that subjective, but no, you, not necessarily UI design and human interaction user interface and UX and stuff like that is pretty 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 objective because you know that's humans are very much similar in the way they interpret you know design I mean okay this is on a PC I'm, I'm on a 980 Ti okay I'm at 4040p I, I it's running at 17 FPS there are no shadows there is nothing to justify the game looking the way it does Oh, oh, sap. oh, there we go. I can't move when I'm dead. I can just, there we go. Oh, the time is still running. So what's the timer for if when I die, nothing happens? Can I just respawn with the same... My total kills hasn't went down. I don't think I've lost any cash. So what's the penalty for dying, then? Is it just an inconvenience? Also, I picked up the cash, but I didn't actually get any cash picking it up, so I don't know what the point of that. Is this name of the shaft? Why have they just put like a desk in and some This is clearly an elevator shaft and they've used it as like a room. I assume it was a, a stock because I, I don't really think they actually create their assets. I I know they're big for downloading assets. It's not that my assets is fine as long as you use them in context, but they've clearly misused that uh freight building. No, oh, they can't put together a competent case in court, no, they fucking can't. Like no, like legit it's just an inconvenience for Jim more than anything. He's gonna win. And, you know, he has the internet on his side. I wanna put on, I picked up ammo there. Oh! Okay, so I, I was holding the shotgun and it said I had no ammo for it, but then when I switched back and forth, now I have loads of fucking ammo for it. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh, the frame rate really, really doesn't like this. I mean, that's a bloodbath. I can find that seems justified slightly. Oh my god, it's less than 10. 8 FPS. 8 FPS. 7 FPS. Oh, 10. Oh, 8. 8 again. Yep. Oh dear. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Uh, Game uh, over. Like the lower. Why do I go to minus 2 health? Like it should. That should be programmed to bottom out at 0. Even if it goes to lower than 0%, it should. The display should bottom out at 0. Even though it can go lower, you know, if you lose 20% of your health when you're at a uh, 10%, you know, that is a minus 10% value, but you know, you die at 0%, that's the how it's a program. But now really that, that counter should bottom out at 0%, it shouldn't go to minus 2. There should be no. Yeah, look, I was holding the shotgun, I had to switch there and back before it display I had ammo in it. 
Good. Good game design. Good one. I like you tested your game, fellas. And they have tuxedo guys and mutated guys and British police. I mean, I don't know where we're meant to be. But, you know. This is the thing. You have to have, um... Oh, dear. Oh, my God. There's another level. Fucking hell. That's what the time is for. Oh, my God. I didn't think there was more than one level. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. There's more to this game than I realized. This... Uh, this seems even more dull than the last level. <laughs> like, what are these? This is like... That's a, like, a, like a little kid. Like a girl model. Girl zombie model that's been blown up to like full size. It looks like a model that was meant to be small. Oh, so it has more than one level. But for some reason, you can't select a level. It just puts them in. I'm not playing this for another 15 minutes. That is another thing. Like, when you make a game like this, you, you, you have to know in your mind. Oh, I got, I got the three thing. What's that? Is that a mine? You have to know that in your head, right? Okay, come here, come here, go on the mine. Minus nine. Oh. Jesus. You have to know in your head that when you make sort of a game like this, what the fuck is that? Victory. When you make a game like this, you have to know that people aren't going to play it for this extended of time. People aren't going to play a mission like this for 15 minutes unless there's some engaging sort of content. There are no bosses in this. There is nothing extending the life of this, it's just horde mode zombies that's frankly shitly designed. Is this here? This is the fucking last level I'd like building as a shit. What is this? Some fucking grass. I know the music's very annoying. I'm sort of I'm sort of just making you feel my pain. Why can't I activate my own minds? Why does it spawn me next to enemies? Oh when I respawn, it says I have zero ammo. If I switch to the pistol and switch back. Now I have ammo in it, but when I respawn, it says I have zero ammo. Oh, ooh, look, you can see under that rock there. That's good. Uh, I just want to see if there's anything else to this level. If there's any, like, hidden secrets or magical sparkles or anything. Wait, like, look at this. This does not look like a pickle, but it just looks like it's a floating asset, and it just... Uh, is this the same building I was in before? I think it is. Why are there dumpsters in the forest? Why? 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 This is... Why doesn't it pause? Why doesn't it pause? I can't even buy either of these guys. I need fucking three grand. And you get, you get actually uh, like different weapons with them as well. I know that it's a it's a it's a one of those. <sighs> the exit button didn't work, and I was very concerned. You want the woman? You want five nights at Susie's or six nights at Susie's? Let's have a look for six nights at Susie's. Hang on. <clears throat> Was the music still music song? No, I, look, I don't think they steal assets. They buy assets, and a lot of Unity developers buy assets. And frankly, it's a very useful thing. A lot of game developers can't necessarily make their own assets and you know most of the time you would never notice the fact that they're using assets but they have to be used properly they're meant to be a um uh, what's the word um transformative work that's the correct term a transformative work and these are not transformative at all they are not transformative they do not well they are they are transformative. i mean the actual individual assets themselves aren't used in a very good transformative way which is how they're generally meant to be, which is why, you know, asset flipping is inherently viewed badly because you know, of the developers that don't properly contextualize the assets they get. Oh, sorry, I'm just looking for these uh, games now. I can't remember where I put them. Uh, oh, here they are. They're in my downloads folder because I didn't want to... <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to put them anywhere else. Uh, let's see. Uh, how do I want to view these? Ooh, details. There we go. Right, uh, do I have five nights at Susie's? Oh, Six Nights at Susie's. I don't have Six Nights at Susie's. Oh, I think that was one of the games I couldn't download. Uh, it, it's, it's, I think it was one of the, like, the only game that, it's on Greenlight. But I, it was, the, like, the, all the games that were on Greenlight, you can buy from the Rich I.O. Yeah, here it is, Six Nights. I'm just going to, hang on, let's just, let's just capture this. Yeah, Six Nights at Susie's, it was, it's on their Greenlight page, but it's, it's for some reason, the only game they have which just isn't on 
like fucking itch.io. You can't just buy it. I mean, I mean, I mean, really. I mean, really. Jim Sterling now. <laughs> look at this. Look at how long it, the description is. What's that? Oh, it's just a woman beating bit, just on its own. Punchinator. Good. Good. I mean, theme park style mini games. Punch it, extract the cash out of rebellious employees. Heroin hustle. I mean, it's, it's it's just, but you can't buy this one. It's the only one you can't like just buy on the rich jail. I don't know why. And I wish I could because it's the most ridiculous looking of all of them. I, you just can't. It's very it's very strange that you can't buy it along with the others. You can buy all the other shit ones. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of go I'm just sort of gonna go in a list through these. Uh let's play Tentri Temper Tantrum next. Uh I'm just gonna go through them one by one. <laughs> so I didn't set all of these up beforehand, I just set up uh, the slaughtering grounds beforehand, so I'm gonna have to set each one up individually. Uh do -do 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 -do. Temper Tantrum. There we go. Whoop. Um I wish it would uh I wish by default it'd fill the screen a little next bit. Like, okay. Oh, God. Yeah, also, I had it s the sound set for, for thingy, so I'm just going to have to... Sorry, this is going to be a bit hodgepodge with the rest of them, because, I mean, my setup isn't really made for changing games repeatedly. Now, Temple Chance was a game I actually bought without reasoning it was realising it was Digital Homicide, because it, like, it was like 10 pence or something. Um, and this is probably the best game they've ever made. And that's really not saying much. I want to point this out, right? It's really not saying much. But it's probably the simplest game they've ever made and the least offensive to just m me as a person. I mean, it's, it's, it's shit. But it's, 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 it's not offensively shit like all the others, if that makes sense. It's a game you run around as a kid and wobble. You run into things and it breaks them. There doesn't seem to be a timer, though, so it kind of defeats the point. It's not like you're breaking as many things with time limit. I kind of thought, you know, if you yeah, 60 seconds, you know, it's not 60 seconds. Um, you sort of have to, like, grab as many things as you can and put them in the bunker at the start of 60 seconds. I, I thought it was sort of going to be like that, but with destroying stuff. Uh, no, no, you just you have no timer. You just have to destroy all the things. And there's these enemies, which don't really seem to do anything. I think they're trying to send me to sleep, but they're so unthreatening. And also, I want to point out the camera, right? The camera, I am... Um, I can't move the camera. The camera controls itself. So the only controls are Wasan. Oh, and jump. There's a jump button for some fucking reason. I, like, I can't see what I'm doing because the camera is so uncooperative. I can break things through walls. And the controls are... But, yeah, I mean, it's a terrible game. But it's the least terrible that they've made. And, I mean, this is the... You know, this is the, this is the strange... The camera can go through the wall. But, oh, there we go. When am I going to stream David Cameron? I am actually making the David Cameron simulator. Uh, the pig one. Um, I'm trying to do that myself. Uh, I'm going to kind of... I, I want to learn game development anyway. Because I kind of want to help out with the game development side of the game development. Because, I, you know, I've been helping the marketing. I've been publishing and shit like that so far. And all the music and assets. But I, 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 I want to actually get into the programming bit. I've always wanted to. It seems like a good time. Seems like it's a good little project to, to get into it. You know, I can mess with my vibe a little bit, you know. I'm sort of, I'm going to start learning basic Unity, learn, uh, get the actual things in place, uh, all the basic things in place, and then when I actually get the vibe, I'll do the rest of it. If anyone can link me to some good Unity tutorials, or if anyone actually has, I mean, if Unreal might be better for it, I want, I want jiggle physics on the pig's arse. I want to be able to spank the pig's arse and it jiggle. <laughs> Maybe Unreal will have jiggle physics. 
I know I'm real a bit more uh, realistic. It's the, like the camera is terrible. I don't even know where I am. Oh, I'm in a fucking different room and I destroyed the stuff in the kitchen. Oh, it's Mr. Night Night. Oh no. Oh look, it does the exact thing that fucking slaughtering rounds does. It just respawns you with actual, no actual penalty whatsoever. Good. Good, I'm invested in the game. I don't get this. What's the point of having all these like monsters and shit if they don't actually do anything? Like they, they seem to stop you and kill you, but there's no penalty for dying, so. There's two items left. Oh, that was an item that didn't work. Uh, will I give Jim a free copy? The game will be free. The game will be free. I'll put it on itch.io. Itch.io. I might fucking... You know what? If it... Depending on how well it comes out, if it's really shit, I'll just put it on itch.io, but if it actually comes out looking competent and funny, I'll actually put it on green light. Because uh, I think the concept just... I'm slightly worried about if it is, like, the legality of it necessarily, because, I mean, I can... I can call it, you know... I can have it be implied parody, you know, sort of, uh, you know, hog coffee, a, a political simulation, and it's sort of a lot of implied David Cameron quotes, or I could go the full route and call it hog coffee, a David Cameron political simulation, and have actual, like, sound clips of David Cameron talking in it when he's back the pig. I don't know how legal that is. I mean, it's under, I suppose it's under fair use parody law, but I don't know if, because the UK has sort of libel laws as well, I don't know. Is that libel? I don't think it's libel. I don't know. I have to look into it. Either way, I mean, it's just... This it's game is just dull. It's, it's, I say it's probably the most exciting out of them. The music actually fits for once, and it actually has audio o audio feedback. So yeah, most competent of all the games, but it never changes. They also have Temper Tantrum 2, which is exactly the same. It's just instead of inside a house, you're like you're like destroying like buildings. But it's not like you're Godzilla Baby anymore. It's just it's just a bunch of small building models. Yeah, it's, it's literally just this. Okay, you can government sues me. You know what? I'd be fine if the UK government sued me. That just amuses me. Yeah, this is the same house as before. It's actually, this is the same level as before. Um, it's just got more enemies. Now, they must only have like about three levels. I don't know how many levels they have. Oh no, it's nap time or so. Destroy your parents' house. Yeah, but why? Oh, no. Oh, this... Oh, thank God. This game won't work. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, God. Next! Next on the list! Galactic Hitman. I'm going to have to keep changing the name. Galactic Hit. Uh, that's why I'm sad these games are in Twitch's database, really. <sighs> Galactic Hitman. Play game. Now, Temper Tension of the story around the Galactic Hitman are the games... That I've seen a lot of coverage on. Obviously, Jim covered the slaughtering grounds a lot. Um, Dan did obviously the video on Galactic Hitman, and I, you know, I've sort of played ten shots himself, and Dan, Jim's done videos on it. I haven't really seen any others. I've sort of seen screenshots of a couple of them, but I don't know much about them. So after this point, it's just it's unknown territory, which scares me. The digital homicide, really. Now uh, let me just capture this. This, this setup, as I said, this setup's really not made for multiple games. <laughs> And I can't really be bothered, like, making it look professional. Because look at the fucking games. Galactic Hitman. The infamous game that Dan played, which I think... I think he gave this worst game of the year. I think this was the worst game of the year he gave the award to. I can't quite remember. Uh, this is, a, I think, the worst first, first person... The worst first person shooter in the world, ever, I think. Uh, I'm going to tweet more. I can't say worst first person shooter because it's sort of it's a bit of a tongue. Worst first person shooter. Like say that like just say that like several times trying to repeat it. I think my accent doesn't really help it because I'm kinda of nasally. Worst first person shooter, worst first person shooter, worst first person shooter, worst first first Okay, there's six bases. Let's do I mean really I should be doing alpha beta. Why are they what why 
like it should be. Should it used to be Alpha Beta Horizon? Start a mission, select the base that's currently invaded. This is represented by a red highlight. Once selected, click the start button. Oh, up there. Why? What, why is it up there? That's terrible design. Jesus. Stop committing digital homicide, man. Well, you know. What the fuck? What the. What? Okay, okay. Control is usually the crouch button, right? And I have it bound to a button on my mouse to crouch. And, uh. Control just does that. Control fires around without actually. Doesn't cost me any ammo to fire that. That's odd. I remember hearing about this. I think Dan might have done this. Is this actually. I don't think this is in Unity, this one, is it? I think it might be an Unreal one. Maybe it is. I think I did see the Unity thing when I booted it up. But it has, um. It has nice lighting effects. I'll give it that. Has nice lighting effects and nice, like textures and stuff like that. But that's not really a compliment to Digital Homicide themselves because they bought all these assets. Also, why does, why does, why does, they, that's how it's supposed to look. But then when I move back, the bubbles sort of appear outside of it. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Can I, oh yeah. Also, this does a shift thing as well. Let's. Okay, let's just crouch down and do the classic tactic for this game. Which is, what, the, what is the crouch button? Oh, it's C. Why, why do people use C for crouch still? It does no damage if you use control. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, oh, oh no, it, no, it does damage. I'm using control and it did just kill them. What if you do notice, it is just shooting at the end of my gun. It, is not, it isn't actually firing it. So it is doing damage when I use control. Are they, oh, have they learned to shoot? No, they haven't. So yeah, I am shooting these, uh, not using any ammo. Target the down. enemies aren't moving. Target down. Jesus. Look at that. I mean, when I use control, shoot. Why is that a thing? Also, why, like, it gave, us, it gave me 10,000 ammo anyway. Oh my god. This is yeah, it does no doubt. Like, see, it does use, look, control, there. No ammo. Oh, it's the last thing. You should let that give it a nice, nice. Nice reflection. Oh, healing thing. What the fuck? What the? Mm. Why would you put a healing thing there? That's a terrible design. Oh, it's healed me anyway. Alrighty. So. Oh, then. Oh, the man didn't shoot me. What? I think if I just stand next to this, I sort of regain health faster than losing it. So inherently, th this, is, this level design makes it basically even more impossible to die at this point. Still a better game than my, I could make. Well, probably. I, well, I, 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 don't, I haven't ever developed a game, have I? So, yeah, it probably is at the moment. Although, Hog Coffee is a funnier idea, frankly. So even if my game is shit, at least it might be a funny joke. do all of these because it, it's clearly not taking very long to do these. Also, what's the point of these different designed bases? Because none of them look like this. I mean, that looks really fucking cool. But none of them look like that. I want to see what happens if I do all six of them. Does anything happen if I do all six of them? So why would I ever use the pistol over the over the um the, the, the machine gun? Oh! Oh, it does rapid fire if I just hold it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, why is he? Yeah. 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 All righty. Why would you put an enemy there? Target down. <sighs> the worst game. You can see the map if you look out the window. Oh, 
That's really fucking awful. Uh, oh, let's sprint. Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> what? The? Whoa! Like this now? Oh god, they didn't. Okay, one of the things important important notes in game design is even though if you assume that you've covered every instance of your player getting out of the map, you always put a fucking thing. You always put a failsafe. So if someone if a player does manage to fall out the map, they'll teleport back up. Always. Any AAA game does this. Even if you fall on the map and you fall into the water layer below the land because usually water is one solid thing that goes all the way across. Even if you fall into that, if you go lower than that or whatever, you will teleport back. There will always be a way to teleport back. Okay. Pressing escape just gives me my mouse cursor. I can't... Is there a menu? Menu. Menu. Hmm. Oh, now it's crashed. Alrighty. Guess I'm done with that one. <sighs> like. Fucking. How are you. Uh, do a moment, brothers. I mean, how can you be. Like, that incompetent with, with general game design. Because, A, if you haven't tested... Because the assumption is that you're not supposed to be able to fall out the map there, right? Okay, let's just work with the assumption you're not meant to fall out the map there. Okay, first of all, why didn't you test that you couldn't fall out the map? This is a, this is a thing that you should do in any design situation. I mean, you do it in any game design situation, right? Where you know players are going to be using it. You fucking test every exploit, right? You fucking... You either get game... Um, QA test is in, or you do it yourself. You try and break the game in every fucking way you can. Right? You try and break the game in every way you can, and fix, you know, the ones that are obvious or whatever. You know, if you're small, then you just fix the big important ones. You know, whatever. That one is not hard to miss, frankly, if you'd bothered to test it. And, you know, you, you fell out the map and I had no way of getting out because it's a menu. Okay, well, fine. If it is intended that it was able to fall out of that, then why the fuck does it not teleport you back? And why the fuck is there no way to get to a menu so I can restart the mission? That is... That is so awful. That is such terrible game design. Like, that's not libel or anything. That's, that's literally... That's, that's objectively bad game design. That is objectively awful game design. You don't show the rest of your level. Why the fuck would you position a window that can see the rest of the fucking level through the... Oh, that really makes me angry. Oh, God. That really makes me angry. Uh, <sighs> on to the next game. Uh, which is not supported by Steam. I'm on to the ones not supported by Twitch. So, on to uh, Medieval Works. Uh, so... I don't think they play the games. Well, why not? What's the point in making something if you're not going to bother playing it? Like, if you're going to put out shit, at least fucking make sure the shit works. Because like, I don't get the point. I mean, are they trying to drum up drama to get sales? Because if they are, I guess it's working a little bit. But very few people are going to buy these. I bought them to do this. And the few people who bother to buy them out of curiosity for fucking two dollars aren't going to make an these guys enough money to make it justified. And, and, and they clearly put effort into doing it. When I say effort, I don't mean, you know, they spent time doing it. It's not like they just did it in, like, five minutes, is it? They clearly spent some time doing it, and it's such a waste of time if you're not going to bother making at least, at least attempting or trying to make a quality product. I mean, from listening to their thing with Jim Sterling, they seem to think they're making things that are good, but you, I don't know how you could possibly think you're doing something good. Oh...
that stolen artwork, what stolen artwork, exactly. I know this is really ugly. They seem to have this really weird thing with just doing ugly UI. I mean, that's necessarily, that's not objective. I mean, it's probably, to most people, that's probably ugly UI, but some people are probably going to like that, fine, whatever. Um, but that is, they seem to have a thing for that. I don't know why the menu's blue, it doesn't match any of the other designs. This is another problem with them. They don't seem to have any, like, um... What's the word? The design never gelled with each other. They sort of random bit mishmashed into it. They have no, uh... Uh, continuity? No. Continuity, is it? It looks like it's stolen. Don't assume it's stolen. Like, I know it sounds bad, but don't assume it's stolen. Because that that's... They make bad games, but just because they're... It doesn't mean that they, they're stealing everything. They probably have legitimately bought a lot of things. They probably made some basic stuff on their own. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have that. Let's do a bad job with it. <laughs> I don't know what this one is though. This is I said this is unknown territory, so I don't know what's happening from now on. This is this is this is sort of every game from here on out is is you know yeah yeah oh oh wait hang on whoa hold up wait 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 oh shit. Oh, apparently this Yogscast drama. Fuck, wait, this Yogscast drama. Shit, this is more important. Whoa, hold up. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh,
Warcraft styles of RPG, I guess. I'm pressing pause and nothing's happening. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, there is actually different classes. Alright, um... Elementalist. Oh, I have to try all these. Okay, so we have the Magician, we've got the Archer, and we've got the Heavy. Which is a, so, a Dwarf, a Human, and... Well, also a Human. I'm gonna... Mm, you know, I'm gonna call him an Elf. He's not an Elf, but I'm gonna call him an Elf, because... I'm racist. Uh, let's try Let's try him first. I wanna see what their fire effects are like, if they have any. Hirelings are easy. Right. Material 1 missing. Okay. Wow, this is so awful. There's no... There's, there's, there's no thought. There's no thought to making this make any sense. I don't think I'm going to sign anything right now. Uh, yeah, like I can't craft it. This is a crafting menu on the right, okay? Right. Increase your rank. Oh, I can't... I can't use him. Okay. Oh, I click play. Oh my god, it has a loading screen. Saving coins will help in defeating these tough encounters. Oh, it's this one. I've seen this one. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. It's this one! It's the weird shit! Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, this is shite! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that was easy mode! Can I use the ranger? No. It doesn't say... It doesn't... I'm assuming I need 10 of these to get the next rank. But it doesn't say what my rank is anywhere. Or what rank I need to unlock these. Oh, rank thugs required. Rank mercenaries required. But how do I... Oh, whatever. Why, why would you lock classes to... Why would you lock classes to rank to your level? That seems stupid. I don't know what just happened there. I literally don't know what just happened. That was terrible. Oh. Okay. Oh my, it's, it's standard first person controls. Like, it's facade and space and, and click. But. I, I mean. What? It has the same problem that fucking. Um, the other one had. Uh, slaughtering grounds, where it just gives you no feedback if you're being hit or what's going. You know what? I want to at least understand how the game works before I quit it. Like, I seem to have several hammers. Did, right, so Wolf, Wolf 1 is like a special smash. Uh, 2 is healing, 3 is a whirlwind, 4 is like invincibility mode or something. But I don't know what the fail state is. Did I die? Because it said the gates of the village went down, but I don't know what the gates of the village are. Oh, the fuck no, all these games is ugly. And the problem is, is this the gate? Is this what I'm meant to protect, this gate? And the is, you know, you'd expect if you clicked on the left that it'd attack the left, but it doesn't. Okay, maybe we just have to stop people getting to this gate. I mean, that's the point. Alright. I'll assume that then. So we're gonna protect this gate. Just, it's just, all it is, is, there's not really any... Okay, Risk of Rain was one of my favourite games from, like, uh, the last... Year or two ago, uh, Risk of Rain, which was 
Why do the gates go down so fucking easy? Like one guy just turns up and is like, oh, I got a sword now. I'm gonna. Oh boy. Um. I'm gonna have a. I bought a packet of boot Cadbury Boost Bites before. They're just like tiny little bite-sized like boost bars. Yeah. Mm. I'm missing out on some interesting drama. <laughs> oh, some of the yolks are shit. Okay, right, noble. Um, we have no idea if there's any validity. Uh, validity. Um, all we know is that Shin is a serial cheater that repeatedly broke the yolks class rules that Lewis finally set up. Um, that he don't engage in sexuality with fans. Interesting. Hmm. I've heard things in the past about uh, sort of like you know pervy things against Shin. You never really told me. I mean, I take any of those claims on, like, sort of with a sort of pinch of salt, really. Um. I just take anything, like, down the internet with a pinch of salt, because people are, like, the way they are. Hmm. I'm surprised you don't need alcohol to get you through it. Well, I'm only four games in, so, you know, might end up taking eventually. Wow. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. Apparently, oh good, good. Apparently, Scarlett Johansson was cast as a fucking Asian character in a in a fucking remake of an Asian movie. Good. Okay, that's the point. You know, people say um, Oscar's so white. I didn't like that. First of all, um, I think one of the primary reasons the Oscars is white was not that a lot of the roles were being given to white people over things, but the fact a lot of the movies, the movies that generally win Oscars, are period pieces. And most of the period pieces are generally set in America or England or Europe. And Europe and England and America were primarily white, uh, you know, in, in the times that these movies are set. It's just a weird nature of the beast there. But a movie, like, this is one of the parts of the issue there when you cast, like, just, I don't get this. They do this in video games well where they cast, like, an American to play an English to do an English accent, it's like, just get, like, they cast, um, they cast, is her name Sophie Turner, uh, the woman who plays, uh, Sansa Stark in, in Game of Thrones, they cast her as, a uh, Jean, Jean in, uh, the new X-Men, and she's an English actress, and she's playing an American, and in the trailer, she's just the literal worst American accent I've ever heard, because she still has all her English complexions, that you always hear the, huh, oh, those bit, those things that you hear in Game of Thrones, that's just how she talks, but she, she does them when doing her American accent, it's the, the worst, it's the worst thing, it's the, legitimately the worst thing, just, just cast, there were so many American actresses, needing, just cast an American actress in an American role, there were so many fucking Asian actresses, fucking give them a, f fuck off, Oh. Anyway. Oh. Oh, there we go. Thought it crashed. Thought oh, it crashed. I can finally finish. No. More boost bites. I like this has a loading screen as opposed to everything else, though. So we just just have to not get them, not let them get near the door. Because there's no health meter for the the gate. Well, doesn't seem to be any indication of the gate being broken. I, I don't know. Oh shit! Why? Why did I? Why was I able to kill them so easily? Everything seems to have the same amount of fucking health. Look! Look at that! Everything has the same amount of health. I just sort of run into its spam click and it dies. Do I have health? Where's my health bar? Oh, there's my health bar. Well, maybe I was dying. It's sort of. You see, um. Next to the one, two, three, that are glowy things. Uh, on the left of that, it's like a weird orange health bar, which doesn't really look like a health bar. Oh, there we go. I've died. So I died. It didn't tell me I was dying. It just told me the gates were going. Once again, much like uh, the slaughtering grounds, it gives no feedback to if you're being hit or if you're losing health, which is a very important thing in any game like this. So that's terrible game design. You saw that troll model in the first game. Ah oh dear. Why are there some? How many games are there? Um, there was uh, one, two, three, four Steam games left, and 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 14 non-Steam games. So 18 games left. And four games in. <laughs> there are more, they have more games, by the way, I just don't, I don't own Six Nights at Susie's, I don't own, I don't own the three identical, uh, like, weird, like, space invaders, like, western ones, because they were, like, 20 pounds for some reason. Well, can I craft anything now? I haven't ranked up at all. You know what, I, you know what, I, you know, well done, they have an exit menu, they have a menu, well done there. <sighs> Next game. <laughs> Forsaken Uprising. <sighs> I'm very unenthused, really. Oh my god, that's really loud. That's so loud! Fucking come now, mate! Jesus! Pretty hell, right. I've had controversy in the past. Um, well, that's not why I care. I just like sort of. I just find it interesting. The Oxfords are is, the, the Oxfords are interesting. And I find them very interesting. I like them. And they're very interesting. I'm, I'm friends with a lot of the the Oxfords. Oh. I'm friends with the a lot of the Oxfords. I'm not, I'm not really friends with any of the main ones. I see anything. What most? I'm friends with all the ones who, like, are on the outskirts of the Yogs. Sort of like um, Hannah, Kim, Martin, Sips. I mean, such Sips is on the outskirts, but he doesn't live. He doesn't live in the Yogs office. Withy and Trot. You know, it's it's it's. There you go. I've turned it down now. Okay. Oh, this is an online game. All right. Please note that I'm running this in 1440p, and this. Menu is clearly like a fucking image rather than text, and as a result, it's scaled up and it's really blurry and horrible. Same with all the text. I, what the fuck? I clicked and it quit. What? Excuse me. Who's playing that? Thank you, Jesus. Um. <laughs> all right. Um. Yeah. So this thing. Okay. If I click the text at the top, it quits. <laughs> Why? Why? At least it loads fast. Why does that look? I see this text at the top. Why does it quit if I click that? Okay, notice how it's really a list because they've saved the text as a low res image instead of like actually having text there with scales and is vectorized and, and is properly, you know, scalable. To different resolutions because I, I think it's very important on PC. You could probably get away with doing this for console. You might you might benefit from doing it from a console. It might be more efficient, uh, you know, memory wise or whatever, depending on the context. But in this, it, it's very bad game design. You just finish reading the shin thing. That was quick. Fuck. I'll read it afterwards. Uh, okay, let's click USA. Get bag open box whip cow. Catapult firing. I don't know what this game is. This is, I have no idea. Like, I've, this is a game I've never actually seen. So. Oh, that's from the fuck. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Oh dear. The mouse is really sensitive. Um. Oh my god. Like, I'm just gonna move my mouse slightly to the right, the left. <laughs> it spun around 360. I moved my mouse like an inch. Um. Oh god, okay. I can't read. Does that say next? Oh, it says next, alright. Uh, hit I for inventory. Club, I. Is this a survival. Did they make a fucking Rust clone? This is a Rust clone! Oh my god, this is a Rust clone. Oh my god, it's a Rust clone. Oh my god, it's a Rust clone. Oh my god, Digital Homicide made a Rust clone. <laughs> Why is it just time? 
has just changed? What's gank? What does gank self mean? Oh my god, what I have to pause to- oh, Skip through all these. You know if you have to tutorialize yourself in like, just this? H. To open- Ah, oh, right. That didn't work. Okay. Now there's a lot of campfires here where people just clearly built- Oh. Built things. What club now? Oh, look at that interaction. Oh, yeah, look, I'm hitting things. You can hear that I'm hitting things. The shadows are twitching. That is correct. Look at those shadows. Mmm. Delicious. I wanna point out, you press E to go into these menus, right? It's it's escape to get out of them. That's that's terrible. That's shit game design. Like you you need so what the fuck is this? I don't even know what this is. Is this, what's this top Is this my inventory here and is this the, the chest or is why are there so many campfires? What is this? Oh, I have a sustenance meter at the top. Just notice that. Slay ten animals. Yeah, all the animals everywhere. Is that a, is that a fucking bird? F oh, f what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Oh, for No! No, I'm not searching through all of these digital homicide. No, Ramon Brothers, fuck you. It is, it's running at 40 currently, 30, 40, and it is dropping to about 20 a lot of times. That's good. Let's go for one, just shall we? Oh shit! Who is a person? Fuck! Oi! What's a one large wolf? Oh god, there's n no sound. Good, the wolf bit turns into a chest. That's great. Good. There's a fucking person. Who's the fucking person? He ran off. Come back! <laughs> okay, that was the worst combat I've ever played in the game. I, I mean, the other games were very bad. That was probably the worst combat ever. Come back! Friend! Friend! Cute. Oh, it might be an NPC. It says, say five human NPCs. Although... The way they're moving makes me think they're not an NPC, honestly. Because I think an NPC would actually be animated and they aren't clearly... Is this the end of the... Oh my god, it's a fucking person. Oh my god, it's a fucking person. <laughs> Why do they not animate? Press enter to chat. Fucking... <laughs> Why does he not animate? Why does he just move? <laughs> he just... What is this? Oh, it's the ocean! Oh, right, you can tell! You can tell because of the great reflections that indicate this is water, or the texturizing that indicates this is water! Fucking... Ace! Why is there another player playing this? And why did he run away? Where'd he go? He dr I think he drowned himself. I think that's for the best, really. Why, why would you make... Okay, okay. you know if you make... Okay. Game design, important game design point. You see this this cliff, right? Ne never do this if you have water. Never do this. Because if I fall into this, there's no practical way for me to just get back up. What the... Why did you... It doesn't have a day-night cycle. It has a day, it fucking day-night stages. It's just, it's just it's an afternoon now. That's a, anyway, it's a pretty skybox. What, wait, what? what the? <sighs> okay, so the skybox itself, this texture, has a sun in. However, the game also has a sun. So even though it's, for some reason, afternoon sunset, the sun is high in the sky over there, while the sun is also there. And you, and that's not a light source either. That that sun is not a light source. This is the only light source. That's the one with the nice sort of uh, god rays. They're nice god rays. The thing is, all these things I'm complimenting them on aren't like the game design choices from the Ramon brothers. They are just like probably default things in the game engine. 
There are, there are a lot of systems with two suns, yes, I agree with you. But this is clearly not an intentional feature. That is clearly not... That's not a light source. That is not a sun. That is, I can tell, a very low resolution texture of a sky, on a skybox. While that is the actual sun. So, no, fuck off. <laughs> like... My sustenance is going down. My fighting animals don't need to attempt to dodge. The NPC swing area effect. Oh, oh, there's no dodging. Okay, good. That makes it so much better. Next, you should upgrade your stone or an axe. Oh my god, this is more complicated than I was hoping for. Aim your crosshairs at the campfire and hit the letter E. A window will open up. Drag some wood. How do I get wood? Like, this is such a bad... Why do all the games do this as well? When I'm in the escape menu, like, like the thing still moves, but it like lags behind. It's really strange. All of them do it. All of them. All of any of them with guns do this. God. At least the terrain isn't stolen. Where else? St okay, stop using the word stolen. I want to put a stop to the word stolen because I'm sure they have actually paid for a lot of the assets or downloaded them free. That they're free because there's loads of free ones. The amount of stuff they've actually stolen, they, there's no probably doubt, they, they probably have stolen some things. Um, pr probably unintentionally. I think it's more, they've stolen things out of ignorance rather than malice. Oh my fucking god, is that a house? Uh, but I don't think... They've either made this map or it's a very cheap free map because I mean, it is badly designed. Hello? What the f Why? What? Who is that? Why is he? What? <laughs> what? Whoa! Whoa! It spawned me here. Okay, so there are towns in this. Okay, they are animations. What the fuck? I'm not trying to build, mate. Where the fuck are their boxes? Everywhere. What the fuck? Why is there a skeleton man? Oh, for fuck's sake. What the f- Why is there a fucking- Well, what the fuck? The f what? Why is there a- Why is there a mummy? You know, the skeleton men and the- 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 The, the werewolves fine that thematically, I guess, kind of fits, but- Why are the- Why are the mummies? Why are the mummies with green eyes? I mean, ugh, they found some nice sky boxes. Textures. Well done, you found... Oh, a bridge. Let's go over to the bridge. Fuck it. Oh, I still have my club! Oh, it doesn't look fucking... Why do all of them do this? You never lose your inventory in these fucking games, do you? Okay, die. Even though I have no stamina, I seem to... I seem to still act like I... Have... Stamina? What was that? Leather. Why do I have cloth? I mean, this seems like... I think everyone can build the boxes and someone just spam boxes who play this. The sky boxes are clearly just tiles. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I, sure they are. They're, not, they're nice looking textures. That's my one compliment. But they haven't made them themselves, clearly. So, it's less of a compliment. <coughs> uh, it doesn't look worse than Seven Days to that. Really? Really, I mean, I mean, look, my stamina is like nothing, right? Okay. Walking, sprint, sprinting. My stamina's going down. Notice how I'm still sprinting, and I'm not stopping sprinting when my stamina goes no. The stamina is there. It's a stat. It is a bar that exists, but it doesn't seem to actually do anything. So. They might threaten to sue me. Well, that's why I'm saying, you know, they haven't... They don't think they've stolen things. You know, if they have, it's unintentional. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I can objectively call it a game, like, shit. It's a badly designed game. That is a opinion. As an, that is a... I think I think badly designed is, is probably, I think, in a lot of ways, an objective opinion. There's a lot of things in this which are just bad design choices. Regardless, someone's made a fucking really shit staircase. Just bad design choices, just gem 
I don't think I think that bridge up there you can't get to and someone tried to build a fucking ladder. Press the gank self button. You know what? I think I will after I get up here. I want to see what's up here. Oh, I'm I'm excited. Then this seems to have the most depth out of any digital homicide game, which is hilarious. God, how do you even build these boxes? Why are you able to build them into each other? What the Why am I Why are you come here? Go anywhere. Why did... Oh, I'm just letting a wild goose chase, and there's no, there's no climax. Why should I expect a climax from these games? It's just these games are just sad blowjobs waiting to happen. Like what? Do I... No, there's no fall damage. Oh, hey. Uh. If, if, if this is rust, it's a rust clone. I wouldn't call it a daisy clone. Why are there just bird baths everywhere? How do I build? Uh, oh, shit, crafting. All right. Oh, doors. Oh, fuck you, make blocks. Boards. Ooh. What about the back? Default. Shrink. What? No. <laughs> How much can I shrink it? <laughs> I'm going away forever now. <laughs> Why does it keep getting small? <laughs> Why can I keep clicking shrink? I'm going to have to lean it. Hang on. It's like three pixels now of the shrink button. And I have to very precisely hang on to lower my it there we go. Eh. Oh, the one. There we go. Uh, there we go. And uh. Alrighty, I've shrunk it so much that I can no longer click click the shrink button or the default button, so it's now stuck there forever. Gank let's gank self. Literally just kill myself. Literally just kill myself. How do I get it back? I, I can't get it back. Oh, it disappeared. Wait, what? Oh no, look! It's permanently that size! <laughs> Why is it called gank self rather than kill self? That's so unclear, and it doesn't give you, like, a, it doesn't come up with a thing that's like, are you sure this will fucking kill you? And it's the first button as well. Like, that'd be resume on any other pause menu, but it's not. And you just press escape again. Why? I, I can't get the crafting menu back now, even if I fucking wanted to. <laughs> oh, the, oh. Oh, Ramon Brothers. Oh, you are sh Oh, my God. Oh, wait, I can... <laughs> okay, this is the interface options, right? Everything's unticked, which would assume be hidden. Unticked should be hidden, not activated. Ticked should be activated. So reason ticking them hides them. It doesn't say interface options, tick to hide. No, 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 no. This is opposite land, where opposites fucking opposite themselves. Also, I don't know how, like... Chat GUI quest window. What? what? Oh, that! Oh, that! That! Okay, if that's ticked, that is up. But if. It... Okay, that's it. <laughs> Just the crafting menu there. So I can't. There we go. To admire the beauty of fucking this sh piece of shit. Okay, the one compliment I have is the exit button. It exits the game just like fucking that. There's no, are you sure? Or it doesn't take a second to load it. Just, it's gone. That's it. It's fucked. You know what? That's the best thing they ever did. Next up, Devil Sh Oh my god, I've got so many more games to do. I've got three more Steam games to do in like fucking 15 fucking non. Uh, like an hour and a half into. Oh my god, I've only got five games. What's the worst digital homicide game? Not sure yet. We'll find out, won't we? 
I click this or oh, devil share. I've heard this name. I, I can't quite remember what this one is. Oh, this really has three graphics options. All of them previously have had all the standard, you know, seven Unity graphics options. Well, this only has fastest, medium, and highest. Rather than maximum. It says highest rather than maximum. Which is quite strange. That's, that's unusual. Although you can tell they're not p p paying for Unity Premium because there's a Unity splash screen when you spot start them. And we use it the same fucking font that all the other ones do. Great. Good job. Righty. Turn it down. You know, I'll be honest, this is probably the best music they've had. Although it looks a lot like the um, start screen from the other one. What was it called? I uh, can't remember. Play silly mode! Silly mode. Left click, fire swing, F open door. Silly mode extras, thoughts. Ooh, classy. And cow grenades. Right. Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, standard. Standard shit. I don't know what this is. I'll play silly mode after it. This is the worst thing. Ah. Oh. It is the worst thing. Oh, it's this one! It's fucking this one! I saw Jim do this one. It, you know, I'll be honest, this is the first game that's actually running at 60, and I have a fucking character model, and there's proper shadows. Okay, this seems to... So far, this is the most competent. So far, this is the most competent. Good job. I, I imagine this map is probably not made by them, though. Oh, what the... Why are there men in, in full red spandex suits everywhere? Oh dear. It's, it's, it's Night Snake. <laughs> oh, God. I should, I, I need to get, I should fucking sell down and so explore, explore here. All right, yeah. So I pick up the keys. F. All right. One to four, don't do anything. This was the gas station. Okay, good. Ah, there's another thing. Ah, search for tools. Ah, I got a flashlight. Which, who the fuck holds a flashlight like that? Oh, for fuck's sake! But no, no, seriously, look. There are shadows. I mean, I'm not. It's not shadowing the, the the thing, but it's got shadows. It's running at sixty, like constantly. It's not dipping. It looks pretty all right. I mean, there's no, f there's, there's no f field of view, obviously. Oh, I pressed. I pressed escape to pause it to see if there's an options menu, and it has crashed. So, do I take it back? <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming back one for one, and it just fucking disappoints me again. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking. Uh, what is this? De oh, Devil's Share. Ah, for God's sake. Let's, let's try it properly. I wanna, see, I want to give all these games a chance and see if there's actually anything good. I don't think there is, but I want to see if there's just anything good in here somewhere. Now, so this is the most competent so far. It actually looks alright. The fucking things you're meant to pick up are glowing. There's animations. There are shadows, it's running properly. The textures are not god awful. You know, I mean, that's a bit too obvious. Like, search! Search for something, and, you know, it's just there. Look around the fuel tanks. Fuel tanks? What fuel tanks? These? They're not fuel tanks. What fuel tanks? These fuel tanks. Oh, these fuel tanks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, spoopy. Why is the torch just fucking off over to the right? Oh, a gun. Yeah, I love guns. I can't hold the gun and the torch at the same time. Even though people do that. Uh. Hello? Oh, they're doing what they do in fucking... There's, clear, there's a clear thing in this. Right, that... I don't think this is a slender ripoff. No. There's a clear thing in this whereby there's, there's an established theme that they see their AI. That, what the? What? 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 Let's go through the. Right. Like, what the fuck? What? What? Oh, what? 
They were hitting me from over there with their clearly ranged attacks. At least there's an indicator that I'm being hit though. There's a red thing. So they've clearly learned all the things. But the rare eye, it seems to still do the thing where it just sort of stuns them, not animating until you get close enough to it to activate. It seems to be a consistent thing. I don't know why they sound like lions. But still, this is the most competent so far. So, good job. Well done. It's not saying much. Because, I mean, I mean, this is still shit, pretty much. But, uh, it, it, it's still, you know, the most competent. Search houses by the store. I'm trying to avoid them because I only have six bullets. Like, they don't seem to react to noise and they die in one hit. So, pretty alright with it, really. Oh, good, there is great. Oh. You know, if you put stairs, right, chop game design tip. If you put stairs, make sure the player can fucking walk up them properly. Jesus Christ. Oh, all these really good animations. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's meant to be spoopy, but it, it's like, what the fuck is this? What the, what the fuck is it? Just walk up the fuck. Oh my god, I shouldn't have to jump. I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, great. Jesus. Um. So there's a house is near the store. What store? That store? Oh, near the store. Oh, great, good. It still doesn't indicate what direction anything's coming from, though. Who sets all these t houses for things? What? 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 My objectives have gone. What? You told me to explore the fucking houses near the. That's exactly what I was doing. What do you want? Oh, this is a spooky house. Ooh, there's no music anymore. That I think I bugged the game out a bit because I have no objectives and there is no music anymore. Great. Great. Well, how much do you bet there's like a really cheap jump scare in this? Just like a boogie 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 No? Yeah? No? It's a lot more tense without the music, I gotta be honest. I feel a lot more on edge. Because I really don't like jump scares. It's one of the things I just dislike. But I have a feeling they don't know how to code jump scares. I have just a sneaking suspicion. They don't actually know how to fucking code in something spawning next to you. Uh. Oh, there we go! That's fucking came back up. Oh my fucking... What the fuck? Fucking... What, do you not test this? Do you not notice that the stairs don't work? And you... What's the thing? I'm just like, oh... The... Was that a jump scare? And it does what all you want to do. I spawn with all my things, and I've lost no progress, which basically makes dying pointless and gets rid of any actual like penalty. Because what's the point in having a death state if there's no? Because only a death state in this scenario would be you restart from the start, or you start from the last objective, or what? But you don't. I start exactly where I was with the exact same amount of ammo I had when I died, and it's like nothing's happened, basically. Can I hit them? Oh, they do just die in one hit from the air. From the torch. Ah, it's threatening. Boogie, 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 boogie. And I do take a hit when I... Because I, I, have, I have to get close enough to hit the damn... Fucking... I mean, was that a jump scare? Were they, like, spawned behind me? Was that meant to be a jump scare? Because I think that was meant to be a jump scare, but it... I mean, what now? I, I did what you asked me. What now? What what now? What now? Find the houses across from the store, find the shotgun. It's just it's just the fucking what? Is this the fucking magical mystery tour of, of fucking picking up random non fucking important items? I mean Oh, 
this is probably the house because this is the one it wouldn't let me fucking into before. Because it was like, you've already missed some things and it broke the fucking game because I dared go into the fucking house near the fucking store. Because fucking stairs! Because it fucking wouldn't fucking fuck. Oh, I'm already pissed off. I think this is the strange thing because this is probably the most competent of their games, but for some reason it's already the most frustrating. Because it makes all the bad design decisions even more fucking, like, obvious. Because at least before, everything sort of looked incompetent. You know, everything was incompetent. But now, you have sort of reasonably competent looking things next to incompetent things. And it just makes it look even shitter. Oh, oh, did, 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 did the stream die? I, I got nothing to say in the stream died. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Um, I was wondering why the chat was quiet. Oh, why did you get put back here? All right, you know that's a good time. No, the, no. I can't quit. When I quit, it, I can't quit to main. Me Let's try silly mode. I want to see what silly mode is. It did quit. Oh, that's strange. How odd. Let me put down for a minute. Sorry about that. You missed nothing. How long was I down for? I think, I think, I think, you, you yeah, I, you just missed me getting frustrated at the game. It's, it's, I'll say what I said, it's the most, since this is the most competent out of all their games, it makes all the bad design decisions and just poor quality shit even more jarring. Silly mode. So silly. Look how silly it is. Oh, it's so silly. Ooh. Ooh, look how silly it is! Ooh, ooh, it's so silly! Oh, it's 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 just it's so silly! I'm having, it's so silly! Ooh, ooh, it's so silly! Ooh, look at all the silly fun we're having! Ooh, I'm having so much fun! Ooh, it's so silly! Oh, the silliness is just is just it's just off the fucking charts! Oh, the the silliness is just it's just non. Fucking, it, it is undisputable here with the fucking silliness right now. They just, they just animate in place. And then they... Ah, <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> it, it when you press the quit button, it crashes. That's how it quits. It crashes. Oh, there was a fart button. Great, fuck off. My God. Oh. Oh. Okay. I, I think disappointed is the best word. I'm, I'm this. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. It's more. No. Okay. This is the last game. Wait, what game was that? I just played. Fuck. Was that Devil Share? Was that Forsaken Uprising? That was Devil's Share, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Now it's time for Deadly Prophets. The Prophets are, in fact, deadly. So deadly, in fact. Uh, um, I'll probably die from playing it. Hmm. Boost Bites are helping me through this. It says it's running. Oh, there it is. Right. Okay, this is back to having multiple options for the graphics. Which, um, oh, it's defaulted to windowed. For some... Oh, my God. What did I expect in digital home? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, sorry. Oh, the inconsistent sound profile. Jesus. Oh, it's borderless. It's borderless windowed. Fair enough. You've added borderless windowed. That's fucking more than a lot of fucking triple A's do. Well done there. Congratulations. Now, notice how this looks very similar to all the <laughs> fucking start ones. 
Deadly profits. The profits are the deadliest and profitable. If I were David Cameron, this wouldn't be deadly to me because I'd be profiting off all the tax avoidance. Um, it is very dramatic for an undramatic game in Washington. Oh, it's got the same fucking hand as that other game as well, and the same flame effect. I see what it is. I know, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Such the fucking epic introduction screen. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill someone just put you in this. That was the most unclimactic fucking start screen I've ever experienced. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, right. Click the portal to play a random dungeon. That's just campaign, it's got an actual campaign mode. I, I don't know. Okay. Oh. Jesus. We're playing? It's crashed. Great. <laughs> oh, I'm like, um, Jesus. Fucking Jesus. Fuck. I'm trying to boost fucking bikes now as well. Jesus, man. It's the same bubble effect from Lucky Hitman, really. Fuck. I'm thinking maybe it's a sprite. I don't know, I'll check. Um. No, it's not the same bubble effect, no. That's different. Or maybe it's just a bubble effect with like a wibble. I just think it might be. Let's see. That looks very stock model, doesn't it? I mean, when you actually click the button for campaign, it doesn't do anything. You have to click slightly below it. Ever one, play. Most oh, time it was working. Right. Come on. Come on. Look, it's actually been taking a while to load, which. I want to point out, all of these are on an SSD, so... Oh. What the... Oh, I'm shooting fucking fireballs at my dick. Oh. Oh, I made a portal. Good. Where's it go? Why is the fucking why is right click make a portal to the fucking menu? That should just be in the fucking escape menu. Why do I? I think I'm already being killed in the background here from the, the, the sounds I'm hearing. Indicates to me that something's happening. Right. Um. Oh. Oh, shit! Fuck, they actually have animations on things, and they've got still out of context enemies still. I mean. It's not the same fucking. I think I've seen these models in other games before that they've made. Still, it's more competent. I mean, these are slowly looking more and more competent as we're going along. They're still terrible. I'm not... They're still terrible. You know, they're, they're less terrible. Oh, that's cool. Look, it's like a guided, um... A guided spell. I like that. They don't seem to have any mana, though. And this magical sort of one-hit, insta-kill type thing is, is, is sort of seems kind of overpowered. Yeah, spell level increase. I don't really think I need a spell level increase. It's already pretty fucking powerful, isn't it? I mean... Am I, am I using a staff? Is it just coming out my dick? I don't... I don't really know. I've got to be... Yeah. yeah, I do like the guided... It's because you can sort of guide it around the corner if you... if you. 
Oh no, is it? Wait, what? Oh no, it's, it actually goes to where the mouse is. So, if the mouse is there, it will come back. So if you, if you, so like, oh, I want to take it around the corner. No, you looked at, if you want to take it around the corner, you look down, it comes back. That's less impressive, actually. If it was just guided, it would. But it sort of, ex it will go exactly where your cursor is. Like, regardless of where that is. I mean, are there any other attacks? Because this seems way too easy, because... I don't even have to deal with, like... Because it goes exactly where I'm looking. Like, there was no... And it's like, oh, look at all these enemies! It's like, yeah, whatever. Oh, shit, there's another one. Ooh, blue one. Ooh, this one's blue. Oh, it's exactly the same, but it's blue. Great, yeah. That's exciting. G giving me fucking all the fucking health in the world. That is also the same. That's, that's number three, but it looks the same as number two. This is exactly the same one as before. It's like Galactic Hitman fucking, um, and number four is the same as number one. Good. Good. So we have four weapons that are actually two weapons, and both of those weapons are the same weapon, but recolored. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Oh no, that's... Okay, that's what number three is. Three and four are the right weapon. And one and two are the left weapon. So it's like a stasis bubble? But why would I need a stasis bubble when I already have one hit killed? Was I expecting quality? No, but... That's cool. I like the stasis bubble, but it seems really pointless. I mean, as do all these attacks, because they're all identical. It's like, it's, it's either an orange attack or a blue attack. They do the same amount of damage, but... One is orange. Yeah, this just stops the model in the shots. Also, also, can we can we talk about this again? I, I've mentioned this several times with these, all these digital homicide games. They have this consistent thing where they just put a load of random models in that you think it's threatening. Orcs, werehounds, giant beetles. Like, contextually, they don't make any sense to all be in a dungeon at once. I mean, there's no... What's the word? Uh... I, I wish I, I've been looking for the word the whole time, but I haven't. I, it's not. Oh, look, it's the same fucking room! Again! Great! I think these are randomly generated, maybe. No, this was level one. This was the campaign, so this these shouldn't be randomly generated. These should be set ones, shouldn't they? Maybe they can randomly generate? I mean, at least compared to Galactic Hitman, they fucking run at you, but I've yet to take damage, I think. No, I've taken a little bit of damage. I've yet to feel under any real threat because everything dies in two hits and I can just spam click. There is no mana. Like, oh look, a big demon with a fucking hammer. Two hits. I mean... Am I God? I think I might be God. I think this game... Maybe this game is, is trying to like talk about the futility of man or something, you know. Maybe that's what this is. It's just, it's just a game about how... Sort of, you know, man wants to be God, but inherently it will it will never be God. And you know, we try to be God to other creatures and other races and there's a fucking bird person there, you know. And but at the end of the day, right, we won't be able to be God. Because inherently, you know, this is good. I mean, we're clearly winning, so uh, there's not really any, any lesson here. But, uh, oh, it's pausing, is it? Yeah, I'm dropping frames. Which is... The stream like, just stopped and split. It just stopped. It should be working now. It should be alright. It shouldn't drop frames anymore, in theory. It should be okay. It should be alright. should be alright. Oh my god, it has an invert mouse button. <gasps> oh my god, I can loot monsters! F. F. Oh, for God's sake. Hmm. 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 It's back. Yeah, it's back. Should be fine now. It still doesn't dropping frames. I'm looking. I'm dropping like 30 frames. 167 frames dropped. Crazy. Hmm. Odd. That's very odd. 
It's extremely odd. Feels very odd. Why is why is it doing that? Stop that. Stop it immediately. Hang on. Stop shut up. Is that working now? That should be working. I lowered the bit rate. I did done it. I did done lower the bit rate. And it has yet to drop a frame. Which implies to me that it is working okay. I want to point out as well. This I haven't actually had any issues with being throttled like when streaming in literally months. Right? Literally months. And when I start playing some fucking awful games. I start getting throttled, and it makes me think maybe Virgin doesn't want me sharing these with the world. Which, I mean, isn't completely unreasonable. Oh yeah, the game just is playing itself in the background still. And they are just there looking at me. Bobble. Bobble. Oh, it doesn't freeze them from that distance because they haven't activated. Bobble. 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 Yeah, it is fixed. I'm not dropping any frames. I have I have CB I have um CBR on. Which is like an experimental expert feature. Oh at the end. Oh look, it's the space vagina. Um I yeah, I'm at, it's like it should so it's supposed to change the um the bitrate according to, you know, how fast your internet is. So, you know, if I was being throttled, you should just lower the bitrate automatically so I don't have to do it. But for some reason it wasn't lowering it enough. It was still streaming at like 2,000, and clearly that wasn't handling it. I've lowered it to like 1,500, and it's streaming at like 1,700. Now it's not dropping any frames. So, that's fine. I should be moving within the next month, and I should be mo I'm moving to a place which has 1 gigabit fiber. So, this should never be an issue again, and I should be able to stream in fucking 1080p, 60fps at fucking high bit rate in the future. Anyway, Magic Space Vagina, let's go. I think it Oh no! Didn't crash. Also, I don't know what the profit is. I don't have. I haven't been making any money. I have not been collecting any loot. I want to point this out. There is. I can loot. I, I can loot the monsters, but there's so many monsters that I don't want to touch them. Oh, what the? Why? Why are those textures fucking doing that? Calm down. Oh, it's a boss fight. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay, boss fight, yeah. Great. Yep, this game is very challenging. It's very well balanced, isn't it? This game is extremely well balanced, and you'd all know that if you, you fucking. Oh, you can loot. Oh, you can loot gold off them. Oh, I see. Oh, and there's my um equipment. I have none, but I'm still somehow destroying literally everything in the world, which is a. Uh, good. That was, that was actually the fucking boss. But I have this fucking spell, which I can literally spam to freeze them in place. Look! I could just continuously freeze someone and just fire alternate with that. And this does so much damage. Oh, that's so awful. That literally, that is all the game is. I mean, okay, this is probably the most competent game they've made. Like, both UI-wise, even though the UI is still a mess, it's better than anything else. Graphically, it's better than anything else, and it controlled better than everything else, and it seems to run pretty better than everything else. But it's still terrible, because they still haven't grasped the concept of balancing. Or, you know, anything like that. Uh, uh, Maybe they still hold us out with DDoSing me. Hmm. Ah. Uh, how much? 250. How much money do I have? 18. Because I hadn't been looting the gold off each enemy. Because I didn't think. You, I, I didn't think. I, I assumed walking across them looted it. Because they, they drop health potions. But everything else is in their inventory. They don't just drop it. So you actually have to. For all the 100 fucking enemies that were in that dungeon, I would have had to fucking press F on every single fucking one. Clicked all the items, clicked loot all gold, and escaped out of them for every fucking one. That is shit game. That is awful game design. Fuck off, did how do I get out of this? Fuck off, Digi Home. Fuck you. And okay, we have one more 
in the Steam. Uh, okay, good. Much like all the other games, it literally, when you click escape, it just crashes. That's good. We have one more in my Steam library of digital homicide games. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight digital homicide games on Steam, which is eight too many, frankly. And then I have another 16 not on Steam. So I think I'll take a break after this one and then uh, like a break of like, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. And then I'll come back and we'll do the rest of them. I'm not going to gank myself. No, go away. Uh, ganking myself is to <laughs> commit seppuku. I'm sure you could make a Oh my fucking Jesus. Why? This is nu attrition nuclear domination. I think I've seen screenshots of this one. Um, geez, it just there's uh, yeah. I think I've seen screenshots of this one, and I am um, ugh. So. I, I you see a lot of the, the things in this. After set fire mode, after set order set defensive mode, R and F, left click to fire or get resources. It's just a, it's just a really shit video of a. F that's a really low bit rate. Okay, I want to point out, right, I know, I know the stream's low bit rate, so you probably can't tell, but the video in the background of this game is extraordinarily... What the fuck was that? That looked like a fucking PowerPoint introduction for the fucking game. Okay, yeah, the video in the background, it's really low bit rate. You can tell it's a really, really low uh, resolution. I mean, I can, I can look at the individual pixels. I mean, they are about as big as my damn mouse. It looks like a 480p video, a 360p video that they've just fucking blown up and it's really compressed. And that fucking, the, the fucking, the, fu the fucking PowerPoint transition for the top. That's terrible. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, H. Okay, cool. Escape to skip. Oh. Oh my god, it has fucking video options in the game. At one point, I'm running at 1440p, but they don't seem to have put that in the game because fuck anyone running high resolution, I guess. Oh god, what's this? <laughs> New China sovereignty. Prime Minister. Oh my god. Let's just try one. I don't know what this is. Maybe is it like a is it a real time strategy game? <laughs> is it like planetary annihilation? I think it's no. What the what? Oh, what are these then? Oh, I see. Uh, let's put it on normal. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even read that. It's so low resolution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's me. I'm going to upload this to Twitter because I know the bitrate's really low on the stream. So, you, I mean, even if, I mean, you probably couldn't read it either way, but I'm going to upload an actual high res picture of it. And uh, you can, if you look on Twitter, you should be able to sort of make out how, like, the fucking 240p fucking image they've. It's a Soviet Overmind. I can just make it out. I can just make out that it's a Soviet Overmind. Then the other one, uh, literally something Nordic power mongers. I can very. Oh god, the Nord. Why are they nukes launching? What the fuck is. Oh! What? Oh? Uh. What? Can I move the camera? Oh, I can. Um. What the fuck is that say? Amazonian League. And uh, that. Uh, something American something. Why are they so low? What does that even say? The something empire. Mechan empire. I don't know what's going on. I really. I, that is literally undecipherable. It looks like every game and I pause and nothing happens. Okay, fucking... <sighs> Jesus Christ. 
I am very confused. It kind of tried to explain it at the start. But... Yeah. It's nuclear... Attri it's Attrition Nuclear Domination is the game's name. Bitch. Oh. Oh. I mean, this is... In fairness, this is the first game I've seen which isn't... Like, just another fucking with a load of random mass character models. It seems to be the, so far, the most different game they've made. It's not a third or first person shooty or run around game. It is, I mean, <laughs> oh, okay, 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 all right. Oh, God, I can't, oh my God, I can't even fucking read it. Okay, I'm gonna link to the. Okay, I've put it in the chat there. Uh, that's. Okay, can you fucking tell me what that says? Can you tell me what that says, please? Because I, I, I can't. I can't read that. I don't know what that means. Oh dear. I can't. But it won't be starting a new game. Mm. Okay, the battle begins. I don't. All about the charge inverter, like D makes it go. Ugh, it's really annoying. It's sort of like if I press D and do that, it's fast. If I press W on its own, it's very slow and it doesn't. Like I'm pressing W. I'm I'm going in a circle. I want to point this out. I'm pressing W, which you think would rotate the world like north to south, but it's not. It's just making me go in a circle. S to the same. Like A and D rotate it side to side, but W oh, oh W. He's now moving it. What the fuck? S is... Now, S... I'm pressing S now, and notice how it's barely moving. Oh, this is... And W doesn't... I don't know what I'm doing. Click. Click. Oh, oh and F. Oh, cancel. L. F. Fucking... What? Oh. L. Fuck. What? I literally don't know what's going on. I mean, this is a game that probably makes sense in the game designer's head. But... Prime Minister Now? What did I say? Western something something toilet. Good. Good. That was the worst one so far. That is the whole game. That is the worst one so far. Like, it's, it's, it's less offensive to look at than some of the other ones, but it's just, it's the worst designed one. Like, completely. It makes no sense. It makes, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't give any feedback. It, 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 I can't read what anything says because for some reason they've made them all fucking a 240p piece of, like, I, Oh, someone's figured it out that the fucking like fucking um, West Coast America, sort of California. Apparently, it says apparently it says limited cyborg congregate. Well done, well done, Daniel Brown, Pope Dude five eight three. Well fucking done, Jesus. Literally the worst game. Literally the worst game, like. That is fucking taking the cake. Steam is downloading something. Stop stop it. Yeah, that that is that that takes the cake. Attrition nuclear domination so far, right? God, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. 
Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's trying to get down to play that and just like just see if he can just figure the fucking game out. I think that's the biggest challenge. Like, can you figure the game out? Yes or no? Most likely no, because it make any fucking sense. Like, I wonder. Wondering, I know it looked probably more confusing, but when I was moving the controls, like, A and D move it side to side fine, but then W would sometimes move it perfectly up, and other times would not move it at all. And S did the same thing. They were very temperamental. Like, R and F changed the reticule, but clicking didn't seem to do anything, and then... Oh, that was... That was actually... The others I could laugh at, but that was genuinely just... It was just... That was just a bad game. The others, I could laugh at them and go, you know what, this gives me a laugh, like the room. But that was just a legitimately awful game that made me feel sick. I feel sick. I feel sick. Next on the list. <sighs> oh God, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of games next on the list. Uh, I'm going to make a folder uh, called Digihom. And we're going to have a little break. Uh, if you want to go watch the NerdCube video or anything. Um, how long is Dan's video? Uh, it is... 17 minutes. I won't be gone for 17 minutes. I'll be back sooner. But if you want some of it... I, uh, yeah, I'll take a break for 10 minutes just because I've been gone for a while. And then I'll come back and do the other... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Digital Homicide Games in my downloads folder. Which... Just... It fills me with sickness. It fills me with sickness. I'll try and get through them quicker, though, because I think they're smaller games because they're not on Steam. So, yeah. Back in, like, t five, ten minutes. Jeez. Jesus fucking fuck. <laughs> Hello. They <laughs> didn't ruin it. They always do that. It's fine. Shush. Don't worry. <laughs> do, do, do. Seriously, like, CFO, uh, like, the people who do all these themes, fucking so good. And they followed me on Twitter, and I was talking to them, and they're fucking cool. Anyway. It is time for... To finish... I mean, this this, this music is, is very pumpy, but it's, it's this is more a somber occasion. Uh, it's a very somber occasion, in fact. Um, it's a very somber occasion because we, we have to play, and well, I have to play the rest of Digital Homicide Game. Ah, Jesus. I'm just, I'm very unenthused by all this. Hmm. I have a plan. This should work just fine. <clears throat> First up, in the digital homicide list, Assault on Orion 7, the, of course, famous digital homicide game. It's not famous at all. This is, this is Sensuke Nakamura's theme. 
who has just fucking joined NXT and he's pretty fucking he's weird as fuck, but he's great. Okay, time, time, it's time for Assault on Orion 7. Because obviously Assault on Orion Oh Assault wait, what the fuck? Okay, it's called a quiet. Shush. It's <laughs> It's called the Sultan Orion 7 in my sort of, like, the folder, the actual application, the actual folder name is the Sultan Orion 7. However, the application that was running is called Assault on Nebula 6, which, they don't sound like the same game, really. I mean, they, they sound like actually completely different games, funnily enough. So, hmm. Anywho. Oh, it's this one. Oh, he can't even aim up or down. Can't aim backwards, can't walk backwards. Alrighty. You can't aim up or down or aim forwards or backwards. You can only aim one direction and that's really loud. Oh, is this the worst? Maybe this is the worst thing. See, this just makes... It, the, the thing is, at least, as terrible as this is, at least it makes sense. I mean, you you, you, you shoot the thing. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, why this more one shit? Because that's the default size for uh, things in XSplit, sorry. There we go, I'm dead. That was a death animation. Amazing. I think that's literally it. There's no alt-fire, there's, there's nothing. You fire in the one direction or backwards. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. a rampage apparently I dominated it does seem to be just the one enemy I apologize for not really saying anything but I don't think there's much to say isn't there I do think the other game was worse than this purely because the other game made no sense. I mean, as terrible as this is, at least it makes sense. It's very simple. But the other game was trying to be complicated. So. Oh yeah, the shooting animation. I just sort of tap the bottom of the gun for some reason. Does it end? Does it end? I don't know why she's slapping the gun. Oh look, Rockstar has apparently just done at streaming GA5. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck Rockstar. I've muted them on Twitter and I've said I've never, I'm never going to work with them in the future. So they can fuck off. Um, oh, the last bullet does seem to be destroyed. The second the new one. For, oh, no, wait. Hang on. Oh, no, he's not dead. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I don't know, I can't really tell. No, no, no. No, it's, it, they just have a very short travel distance. Yeah, yeah. There's no escape. Nah. Escape doesn't work. You have to alt F4. Fan fucking tastic. Amazing. Quality games and digital. They, they're trying to get. The, the, I mean, all of these I want to point out. These are all on green light. All the other ones I played before this, the break, are on Steam. All of these are on green light. Like they're trying to get these on Steam. Like they're trying to get that on Steam. I'm charged for it. Oh, this one. This is the one. This is. This is. This one is terrible. I know this because I've seen Jim play it. Uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, assholes, which is literally a uh, an Agario clone, uh, but about poop. 
because they're classy at digital homicide. They, the, digital homicide are the kind of people who really find fart jokes funny. They're, the, they're those kind of really classy comedians, you know. Oh god, it just I'm just connecting to a random IP. What's happened with Shin? I have no idea. People are complaining at me for mentioning it. <laughs> I just I saw a bunch of the Yogs talking about it, and I wanted some context. And people are complaining at me for mentioning it, so I don't I don't know. <coughs> I'll read up on it later. I sort of read up on it a bit in the break, but I uh, I, I couldn't really tell much from from the. Uh, Good. Error connection failed. <laughs> I can't even click any. The yes fucking. Let's try that again. Hell, this is the appear to me of quality from Digital Homicide. This not only is a well made game, as you can see by the clearly ripped off Google image search clip art that they've used, which you can tell because they've got the fucking like really shit cut out around it. Once again, they didn't just bother to find a fucking transparent fucking background image, did they? This doesn't work. Alright, well. As one game I don't have to play. Because <laughs> it doesn't work. That's the first game we've played that doesn't actually work. Although that's because it's an online only game. And I apparently, I assume the one server that exists doesn't fucking work. You need, I, you need my help, Python or Java. I'm not a developer or coder. So I can't tell you. I really don't like coding. Oh, this one. This is called Bombing Run. This one... As you can see from its very pretty visuals, it's very beautiful, uh, colourful, vibrant visuals, is in fact uh, the next Contra. It's not the next Contra, it's the next Star Fox. As you can see, uh, I can, I can, the plane animations are just, you know, on par. When I click, it drops a bomb. And that's, that's it. I can't see the bomb being dropped, I can hear it. Uh, exploding somewhere, but uh, it's about it. Uh, I can't tell if I'm actually hitting anything because everything I'm, my bombs drop behind me, and the bomb cam is just the camera literally below the, the plane. So, I feel like the quality of these games has suddenly dropped quite a lot since we went to the itch.io bunch, as opposed to the uh, Steam bunch. That's it. <laughs> That's the whole game. I just completed Bombing Run. It's literally the game. It's that one level. They want they want to put that on Steam for money. <laughs> a thirty a thirty second away. Okay, this is um That's very loud. Sorry. Ah, there we go. This is called Coastal Carnage. Which was another game that just started straight away. Uh, I can fire... Ooh, what the fuck? Right-clicking just zooms in. 
but it doesn't seem to actually zoom in. It just seems to move the camera, so it fucks up a bit. Good. It's not an actual zoom. An actual zoom would actually move, you know, zoom the camera, not move the camera. Great. Um, yeah, this is pretty. A lot of carnage here. Alrighty. Uh. This is uh. They've really taken a quality. I mean, I didn't think they could take a quality dip. I, I didn't think they. I didn't. I didn't think they could get worse. But did you just drop a fucking nuke on me? Like I'm shooting these fucking Sam sites and they're not dying. Like this is legitimately just shit. Oh, I can just click myself and repair myself. That's Oh boy. I'm gonna click out the fucking window. Oh, good. 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 The actual whole terrain is destructible. And everything respawns. That's good. Good. They really have taken a dip. They, uh, I mean, it's not even. There's not even any travel. At one point, you can see wherever I click, I just create an explosion. It's not like I am firing something. I am literally clicking somewhere, and there is an explosion happening where I click. See? Click, 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 click. And I can just spam click. There's nothing. Oh, they want to put this shit on Steam. Oh. Oh. Clicking the hide upgrades button shows the upgrades, and clicking the show upgrades button hides them. There's upgrades. Why do I. <sighs> At least I can get through them quick. That's the positive here. Is this. <laughs> the Stanley Parallel guy went through all the guys' games, did he? <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, this is the one I'm looking forward to. This is ELT, the Extra Large Testicle. Get it? Because the testicle's large. Do you get it? It's a joke on ET, see? Because ET is like extra testicle, so they add an L in the middle, so it becomes extra large testicle, and then it's like a sex joke. No? Okay. <laughs> I hope this one's fucking amusing at least after all the other fucking shit. <laughs> after those really like barely mini game standard like I mean they, you you you'd expect more from a mini game and a free game. Like there are the, the mini games in the Mimoto app, which is a free app. Are, are like fucking more impressive than that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, yep, it's one of the ones that just has no menu. It just puts you straight into the game. That's good. I love games that do that. They make me so happy as a fucking content producer. <sighs> are you ready? Are you ready for the for the majesty of the extra large testicle? Three, two, one, testicle. This hairy black mass is in fact a testicle. My mouse is on the screen still, and when I rotate too far to the right, my mouse actually goes off the screen. So, um. I don't know what I'm. I, I can't move. In the... This is another one where the game is called the Extra Large Testicle, right? Well, the game file is just called E.T. However, the actual executable it's running is called Super Ball Blast Off. So, currently, it has three names. Um, once again, I don't... You, can you see my mouse? I assume you can see my mouse on the screen there. But you can see when I move to the right, it's off the screen now. So, I, if I click off the screen, I can't... I can't move. Um, oh, I died. Oh, I'm moving now. 
slowly. It appears to be covered in hair. You know, black, strange hair. I don't. I mean, I mean the stock city they've downloaded is nice, I, I guess. I mean, yes, this is. I mean, this is. The, I can't go up the. I can't go up the hill. Is this worse than? Then it's not on, on then the, the fucking nuclear attrition one because I, I think it is. I, I, have, I have to keep having to click out when I turn a direction because I can't fucking do any. Oh my god! How oh, health? Great. Is this supposed to be Captain Murray? No. No, you don't collect anything. You're just a ball. This just makes me depressed. <laughs> I'm just depressed. <laughs> I'm just, I can't, the fucking, I keep clicking off the fucking screen. <laughs> is this Reservoir Dogs? <laughs> yes. Yes, this is Reservoir Dogs. Gene success zero. Baby rescue zero. Eliminated alphas zero. Uh, uh, there's no, it's, it's, it's W. It's literally the only button that does anything is W and click, and I have to turn with the mouse, but obviously the mouse goes off the screen. So if I click now, when the mouse is off the screen, it fucking pauses it. <sighs> what are you? Why do they, they try and kick me? Yeah, I'm not sure if this is worse than the new game. I mean, I mean. The new game was just so confusing as a as a thing that that was kind of why it was so bad. But it, equally, this is a I mean, this is not just a simple game. This is a terrible concept that's terribly executed and doesn't make any sense. Equally, I mean, yeah, these games do make the slaughtering grounds look good by comparison. That's the sound thing. Because suddenly you look at the slaughtering grounds and go, you know what? I'd rather play that than this. And you know what? I would rather play the slaughtering grounds than this. I'm having a lot of fun here. Let's quit that. I thought that would be funny. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. What happens if you go in the water? You know what? Let's find out. Let's boot it back up and find out. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? How much dollar did I waste on this? I spent two dollars on the entire digital homicide collection, which was all 25 games. So, you know what? I'm fine with it. You know what happens if I do go in the water? Let's see. How was that even a testicle? That's a good question. That's what happens. It's not even water. It's just a water texture. It's just a blue texture. There's actually no way for me to get out of the water. So, I'm stuck here now. Oh good, I'm under the map. Oh my god. They want to sell this for money. They want to sell this for money on Steam. Oh, I can go off the end of the map. Alright, let's just keep going. Check Twitter. Let's see. Uh, someone sent me a sensual photo of uh, the me from Mimoto. That's quite nice. Yeah. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah. Tutron saying sorry about the shin thing. Uh, how much did they want to sell this for? I have no idea. Probably like. Five pounds or something. Maybe sixty-nine pence seems reasonable. They probably like sixty-nine pence for the fucking joke of it, because they're like five apparently. 
I don't remember there's like five year olds. Are they like are they like Vincent Adult Man, like they're actually a five year old just pretending to be an adult? In the middle of the ocean. Like what is this as well? Because it's like a water spout, but also like a smoke texture. Like, it doesn't seem to do anything to the NPCs either. It's just, it's just, it's just there, and it has an animation to go out, but it doesn't have any animation to go back in. You just let go, and it goes away. Why'd you ask me to go in the water? You made it worse. I didn't think it could get worse, but you made it fucking worse, didn't you? You know, I have to update my thing. Ugh. Okay. I don't know how much they want to sell them for. If they just want to sell them. I mean, I've bought all of these already, like for $2 for all of them combined. So not much, but all the new games seem to be like £15, even if they're shit. Like, they seem to just price them at £15, like, flat. $15, like, dollars, sorry, $15 flat for any of them. So I assume they'll sell these for $15. Oh, that's really loud. <coughs> this is called, uh, at least the file... The file is called Flying... Oh, it's actually called Flying Knights Pen the file on the actual application called Flying Knights, so it's actually consistent. Um, oh, it's a two-player game, so I have to play both with the, the numpad and myself. Okay, B is jump. B is jump. And also fucking control is jump. For the fucking numpads. What is this? What is this? What is... What is this? What is... Are they stealing my people? People argue, you know, there's that whole conversation of whether, like, walking simulators are actually games. I think the real conversation here is, 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 is this actually a game? Do any of these games come with a manual? No. They might on the, on the itch.io, hang on. Flying Knights Itch. Io. My warrior can't hit flying monsters. There's a steam. No, oh, that's a completely different game. Good. Is this worse than the actual large testicle? It's funny enough because they're all suddenly really bad. Let us throw. Okay, so player two seems to have a knight with a sword, while player one is just like a. Oh, player one is also a. No, the person was stolen. Player one was stolen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the other knight seemed to come down and steal the person? Somebody make 
this. <laughs> I don't even. <sighs> uh, so they call themselves digital homicide because they go through all the genres, murdering everything. But what, what, what fucking genre of game is this? Like, what is this? I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It's just. Let's just be one character. Let's just, let's just. I'm player one, so. Oh shit! If I if I tap B, I can fly. Oh good! I'm glad it says that. Okay, I was stabbed. I'm now on the ceiling. My horse is fine though. I I've got a lance. I'm. I'm just depressed now. Like, I re uh, I'm rescinding my statement about the actual large testicle, which is incredible that I'd have to rescind my statement about the actual large testicle. Uh, flying knights. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not really saying much, but I'm just kind of depressed at this point. <laughs> this is like a guy sitting on a street corner jacking off. Nobody knows what to do about it to stop them. It just makes everyone sad. I know, this is like a sad blowjob. This is like paying a really old, feeble woman who, like, just wants some food to give you a blowjob. And she's just really sad about the whole thing. And, you know, you can't get aroused by it because, you know, it's it's not very nice at all. So it's just this old, hungry woman trying to... just trying to fillet to this, this just flaccid... Pathetic penis. That's, that's what this is. This is what this is. Good news. We are almost halfway through the itch.io section. <laughs> there's, there's, there's only eight more games. I think some of them aren't actually games. I think some of them are literally like forest backgrounds. I wasn't quite sure. I just downloaded everything. Speaking from past experience. Oh, this game has given me all the fucking experience and sad blowjobs I need. Oh, eight game. Okay. This. Okay, this one is literally just playing music. This is what it's called. It's called Music Player. It's called Forest Music. Instead of the snort, press escape at any time to quit. Th this is literally a game. That's a, a sound file on repeat with an image. Is it, I think this is literally stock music. They put an image on and sold as a game. Neither the music or the image or theirs, but they're selling it as a game. No, it's not a game. No, no, you're right. You're correct there. That's it. It's already repeated. Moved on to another image, though. I'm glad that the literal fucking stock music they're using is like 30 seconds long. Of 
course, of course, every fucking game does this. When you fucking press the quit button or press escape, it literally crashes. It comes up with a fucking thing. It's like, this program is not fucking responding. You can't see that because it's only Capra in the fucking game. But why? 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 Okay, this is an actual game now. They're all phone wallpapers. Jesus fucking Christ. Google search forest night background. All right. Forest night background. Um Oh, yep, yeah, that that second image is 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 on the first page of Google image search. Um let's see. Can't find the second one. Let's try forest stars. Forest stars background. Um I can't find the Forest Stars one on the first page of Google Images. That's literally the one positive thing I have to say about whatever the fuck that was. No, oh, yeah, a game needs to have some direction. That's not a game. That is not a game. Anyway, that is a, it's a it's a it's a fucking piece of it's an audio it's a fucking <laughs> it's a, it's a loop it's an audio loop with a slideshow. Okay, this is an actual game. Now, I think this is basically identical to Assault on Orion 7, but with different models. He has a habit of doing this, where they uh, they literally just make the same game, but with different models, different animations. They did this with another one. Um, I can't remember what it's called. They did it with the weird, like, Space Invaders one, where they basically made the same one with magic and also cowboys. And it was the same game, but just the same code, but just with different models and textures. And once again, this is a game where I can only walk back and forth. I can fire in a continuous forward. It's... Got the same character models. I can only run forwards and backwards. It's got the same health as the other one. Uh, there's gold in this one, which I don't think the other one had. It's got the same basic UI, but all the elements. It's 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 the same game, but with different assets. Which it's prettier. I'll give you that. It's a prettier game. Because they've used nicer assets and it actually has shadows and shit. But this, I think, is more insulting. Just kill me. I'm just sad now. <laughs> I had a good first half of this live stream, but now I'm just sad. This is just a... It's just like looking at a load of dead children, you know, just going through like a slide show of dead children. This is what this feels like. Like, it, it's... <sighs> oh. This is called Music Player. It's Halloween party, this one is. It's This is... The same as the, the the forest music one, but this one is Halloween music. So let's just uh, enjoy the spooky Halloween music with the Halloween background, which, let me Google that. Halloween background. Oh no, they, they switched that one pretty quick. They actually switched it before the loop. All right, let's see, Halloween background. Um... Let's, let's reverse image search this, actually. Mm. I'm not saying they have stolen anything, but... You know, you can come up with your own interpretation there. Illegally, of course. <laughs> okay, another one. That's clearly... Clearly not a widescreen image. That's clearly just been stretched. Oh, wow. All right, that 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 image I just reversed Google image searched does not actually come up on Google. They've clearly got it from some website which either doesn't index itself on Google or they've bought it, which in itself or they've made it. All of those actually sound amazing. Free assets isn't stealing. No, it's not. It's not stealing. But there's a distinct possibility that they could just rip. They have before ripped just images from Google. I don't think without checking the copyright on them.
Yeah, it's already yeah, it's already looped both the images and the fucking and the fucking music. That's just such Halloween music. Hang on, I'm just gonna quit out the game. Let's let's find Halloween music. No, that's that's not. Is that it? No. Is this it? Ultimate Halloween music dance remix. No. No, these are. 247 free Halloween music tracks. Ooh. Like, at least if you're fucking making it, you'd have it, like, more than one song, surely? I. <sighs> next. Next game in inverted comments. This one just says mass. I don't know what this is. It's just MAS. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna find out. This is the one I, I knew ET was the actual large Tesco, but this one's just mass. I don't know what it stands for. Let's try this. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. I don't know what the MAS stands for, because even the actual application is called MAS. However, this is the submarine one. Which, as you can see, you see that water effect from the back of the submarine? That's the same... Wa oh, great. Space restarts. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Space, the common restart button in games. Uh, notably known for being a good restart button. Yeah, that's the exact same water effect as used on the extra large testicle. Am I literally... Killing whales. This, this is literally a game about killing endangered species. Alrighty. Yeah, let me kill all these innocent, innocent orcas. Yeah. They want to sell this on Steam. They want to sell this on Steam. I go to the top. I wonder if it, no, no, I just. It, it's clear here that this is a very small scale ship. Like the ship is tiny compared to like the rest of everything else. Like and everything's just been scaled down. Just sad. There doesn't seem to be any real goal. It's just shoot things. Yeah, it's very unrealistic, but. Keep in mind, the torpedo is about the size of the fucking boat. Oh, look, a shark, yeah. Good. Oh, look, it's it went lower now, but the boat cannot go lower. So the actual terrain changing makes no... Notice how all these textures at the back here, these, like, models. Uh, these are, like, these clear, like, rock models that are like this. They, they are just repeated. They just use the same rock model and fucking... <laughs> fucking stacked it. Apparently this is a game, yes. There's no enemies at the moment. I'm going to check Twitter again. Some, uh, even Stephen on Twitter, uh, he googled, are testicles supposed to shoot water? Uh, NHS Choices, I'm sure, has some uh, good things to say about that. Um. Hmm. There's literally no enemies. Just an occasional turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least compared to the fucking Assault and Orion game and that whatever magic fucking game, at least it has, like, another layer. Like, it, it, you can go up and down in this one, and you couldn't you couldn't do that in the other game. The other game was w literally a one-dimensional game. 
Like, legitimately, it was a one-dimensional game. You, you could play that on a single pixel. Like, you could represent that with a single pixel being red, going along a line, and firing out little green pixels at little red, at little orange pixels. And that would be the, it'd be the same game. This, you know, you'd need to play this on a 2D screen, amazingly. <laughs> There's a game I, I played at, e at EGX uh, last year. It's called Lime Wobbler. It's a game that's it's just on a strip of LEDs. And you control it with like a um you know little springs you get behind doors, like door stopper springs. It's one of those with a little accelerometer on top and you control it with that and it's really fucking satisfying to play. And it's just a one dimensional game when you go along and you spring it to like put an AoE effect and it's somehow more competent and more enjoyable than a game that has the full processing capacity of a computer and the full graphical capabilities of a full L C D, you know, 16 million color monitor while uh, this guy could make a better game on a single strip of LEDs. Alt F4. <sighs> Next game. Oh, this one's another another music player. This is called Ocean Ambient. It better be fucking ambient as shit. I mean, it better make me feel like I'm in the fucking ocean. And if it doesn't make me feel like I'm in the fucking ocean, I'm going to complain. I mean, yeah, that is the sound of the ocean. I'll, uh, I'll give him that. I mean. Oh, it changed. It's a very exciting time for, um, you know, the medium of the games industry. Um, I want to point out, I tend to be paid for this. So. Yep, the, uh, the sea turtles won. Was the thing. Let's just search ocean backgrounds. Let's see what comes up. Ocean backgrounds. Underwater backgrounds probably better than the water backgrounds. Mm. Um, I can't tell if any of these have been used. Actually, they all look pretty similar. I kind of want to take a piss now. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Next game. Well, <laughs> game in inverted commas. Only three left. There's only three left. Sewer attack. Which I imagine is going to be like a Sonic Orion 7 and the magic one, but with different assets. Fucking, I, I fucking bet you. I fucking bet you. Oh no, oh no, 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 Go on, take a guess. Just go on. Tell me in the chat why I'm saying no to this. Go on. I'm just gonna wait. Because it's clear what this is. It's clear what game this is. Nobody knows? Someone got it. Soon got it. Galactic Hitman, there we go. <laughs> this is literally exactly the same menu as Galactic Hitman. But it seems to just be using different assets. So let's see if the actual game is is Galactic Hitman, but in a sewer. I, I fucking... Enter.
Although the control trick doesn't work anymore. I actually have to find my gun. And I have limited ammo. So that's something. I mean, so far it's actually a better game than Galactic Hitman because you actually have an ammo count out, which matters, and the enemies can move. <laughs> which, I mean, shouldn't really... <laughs> I'm respawning and dying instantly. There's no escape. There's no. There's no menu. There's. there's mm. <laughs> it's at the same time worse and better than Galactic Hitman. Let's. Now you see the sewers of Los Angeles will be different to the sewers of New York, for example. Um, now let's see how much different the sewers of New York are to the sewers. No, this is the same map. It wouldn't let me select any of the map. See when I shoot them. That took about 20. Sh that took like 10 shots. I only have like 25 bullets left, which means I can only kill about two more of them if I hit every shot. Okay, now I have no ammo left, and I have no other way to kill them. Oh, I do have a shotgun. I do have... Oh, I do have multiple weapons. Oh, right, that suddenly makes it better. Fuck off. Fuck off. Thank you. Look, it's immediately better. It has more weapons. It fucking doesn't have the control fucking button. Shit. The control doesn't actually do anything, which is kind of nice. Oh, is that the same... Ah, oh, let me guess. That's the same... Look, it's the same water effect as the fucking extra large testicle. Oh my god! Oh my god, they are physics! They're actual particles, they're actual objects. That's not just an effect, that is actually. Wow! Wow! Fucking next gen! Look at that! Wow! In. Oh. I'm, I'm finally impressed by something that they fucking bought on the asset store. I'm incredible. Literally just a fucking sewer. Why does it give you the... What do you mean? It's a sewer. It's not a base. It's... <sighs> that game has crashed. BAFTA award worthy. Well, you know what? Frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if BAFTA gave these fucking guys an award. They gave everyone's gone to the rapture. They gave everyone's gone to the rapture award. So by that standard, they should probably be giving Galactic Hitman an award as well, because equally, they they that also had nice lighting effects. Galactic Hitman. Nothing else seems to. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I can hover over them, right? And they have a hover over animation, right? But clicking them does nothing. You actually have to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 to select them. For some reason. Let's try number 4. This looks suspiciously similar to the LA sewer. Hmm. It's funny because we're actually on a, a, like a good, you know, 500, 5,000 miles away, at least on the other side of a continent. But somehow... They have the exact same sewer room that I was impressed with earlier. Look, they have the exact same water pipe. Oh, look, they have the exact same random garbage pipe. God, it almost looks like these are these are fucking sections that are. Oh my god! I was gonna say sarcastically that it's almost like these are sections that are clearly screwed together because they they were clearly they are clearly modular sections they just stuck together. But I mean. This is an archway. It's meant to connect with another thing with an archway, like here, right? See, I mean, somehow they've screwed up gluing these fucking things together here as well. I mean, how the fuck? How the fuck do you... Oh my 
like but they've they've put an arch right here and it just connecting to a square mm -hmm. that's I mean here as well oh, that's really awful. and they have the same room they have the identical room on both sides oh my do they want have like three rooms oh this is the exact same corridor from the last one literally it's probably the same code ripped out of it because those two guys also spawned from those sections and um Yep, okay, good. Uh, let's throw a grenade. That's not a grenade, that's a grenade. Explode, explode, explode. That's fucking useless, wasn't it? Why do they do so much damage? Mm. Now I'm fucked because they are next to my spawn location. And because they're such bad game designers. Yeah, the point of color physics are really easy. I mean, this is Unity, so it's probably just a thing they bought on the assets. Though. Oh. Oh. Okay, I spawned on top of him this time. She didn't know what to do. That's handy. Alrighty then. Sure. <sighs> My bloody yeah, this was this is basically this is the same map, but it's last time when I spawned here, I spawned over there instead. And yep, yep, this is the same back area that was in the last map. This is the exact same side area that was in the last map. They've already used this room. The same room with the exact same layout three times in this map. They fucking, they fucking... Oh, my God. And this is also the exact same hallway from the last one. Once again. Shit. Uh, also, we get more hallway. Oh. Oh. Oh, good. Good. They've just... They have just a doorway. Just... Out of the level. <laughs> <Nope. sighs> Did they even... Because, I mean, in Galactic Hitman, at the very least, it was a window that you would clip through. But in that, that was literally a door. That was literally just an open hallway. I'm not even surprised anymore. Much like Galactic Hitman, it doesn't have a fucking menu. Just when I press escape, it just brings my mouse up. So I've got all that. Jesus. I mean, I mean, legitimately. Like. Oh. No, there is, there is no whatever button that was in the fucking Rust clone. Oh, my Jesus. That's, okay, this this is another one that has um, only three options. Graphical. Why? So I have a sinking suspicion it might be a bit different, or it might be very similar to the other game we played. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this. Wait, well, hang on. They are, they are Klingon ships. Those ships are Klingon ships. I don't know the specific class of them, but they are definitely Klingon ships. Klingon ships, not generic ships. They are Klingon. From Star Trek, Klingon. They have the Klingon. Yeah, they have the Klingon. They have the Klingon fucking logo on as well. Yeah, I should fucking gank myself. Hello, John. You're fucking late. You've missed my torture. Look, this is the fucking second to last game, John. It's too late. Yeah, I've already dealt with it. I've already dealt with all the fucking shit repeated the same game with different fucking textures. The fucking, for some reason, open hallways to the fucking outside the fucking map. Messes of UI. It's it's awful. It's too late, John. I've already hurt myself. I might as well finish. They are Klingon. They are Klingon ships. This is definitely stolen. This is a dip. Like, literally, all the other ones, you know what? Fine. They might have bought them. This is definitely stolen. Look, they... Look. Seriously, they are Klingon, aren't they? Someone verify for me. They are Klingon. Someone search this image, if you can. They, they are definitely Klingon ships. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just the fucking, it's just the fucking, it's just a fucking submarine game in space. At least it's a little more interesting than the submarine game. It's like a bit of inertia, like when you let go of the S, it like takes a second. I mean, yeah, it's a bit more interesting than the, the fucking submarine game, but...
I, mean, I think we've seen everything there is to see there. You wear the baguette thong if you want. Well, John, I have one game left. I have one game left. Ah, 10 to 10 to 11. We have one game left. Got through all of them aside from uh, Six Nights at Susie's, the weird space octopus thing, and the duplicate space invaders one because they fucking weren't in the bundle and they cost money. So I've missed about, you know, five digital homicide games, three of which are actually the same game, and two of which are actually unique games. It may be interesting to play all the same, and I'm not giving them a load of money for them. So, last but not least, Uranus Invaders. Uranus Invaders. Now, how much do you want to fucking bet that they've called it Uranus Invaders because they're five and they really love anus jokes and poop jokes as evidenced by all these other fucking games and what they think is random is launching a fucking cow because they're seven. They are literally seven-year-olds pretending to be adults. This is literally... <laughs> <laughs> this is literally Space Invaders. <laughs> it's Space Invaders with no cover. And unlimited fire. And it makes no sense. <laughs> Oh, for fuck! <laughs> Everyone explodes into Irish confetti. Oh, you know, I was kind of hoping it'd be a dating sim. Oh, there's no Uranus puns. There's no. It's the same level, but with different assets. The enemies are no different. The tactics are no different. This is not Space Invaders plus Asteroid. This is shit Space Invaders. Oh yeah, let's just put a bunch of shit on the screen. Not even having to move. Great. Hang on. They are dying when they hit me and doing no damage. If I don't do anything, will I win? Note how the spaceship at the top also isn't actually firing at me, it's just firing at random. He's not going to come after me, is he? Alright. Fine. I killed one enemy and I won. They come, they come down to hurt you, and they do no damage because you don't have any health. This is Babby's first game. This, this, I wouldn't be impressed with this as a fucking first game from an eight-year-old. I've seen better games from eight-year-olds. Legitimately, I've seen better games than eight from eight-year-olds. He actually shoots the same spot, does he? Oh my fucking god, he does. He actually shoots the same spot. Oh no, he's... No, yep, he shoots the exact same. Okay. So every level's the same. All of them will just explode on impact. And then there's these two guys left. That guy shoots the same spot every time. That other guy doesn't die. Kill himself. So all I have to do... Is... Click a couple of times. Oh, boss round. Gotta move. Now, see, it hasn't hit me. Haven't moved. Great AI in this game. Uh, known for it. That actually, I think, did hit me. Actually, none of those guys hitting me does any damage. And that went through me. That bullet. Yep. So, actually, the bullets don't do any damage. So, <laughs> even if they... So I can't take damage. Nothing hits me. I paid for this. 
This costs money. They are, they are selling this game. How much was this game? Well, the whole collection of every game I've played tonight cost me two dollars total. So, you know, honestly, I think it took more of a toll on my mental health. I think I was, I, I was, I was more concerned about the money initially. But okay, I did a boss round by just clicking because I can't take damage. Oh my god, I died! Oh, but just every, it does the same thing as every other digital homicide game and just respawns you. It doesn't respawn. No, literally, consistently, every one of these does this. Consistently, every one of these... Oh, there we go. I had three lives and didn't actually say I had any lives. I've restarted the game. All right. Oh, now it's working. Okay, that wasn't working before. It bugged out. Good. This is the cheapest way to get depressed. Well, you know, I'm sure you could probably buy a sad blowjob of, of uh, two dollars. It'd probably be more satisfying than all this. Well, there we go. Just gonna, uh... Mm. <laughs> I played all of them, so that's that, I guess. I'm just going to log into itch.io and see if there's any I missed. Now, I want to prolong my fucking suffering. I called digital homicide for a reason. Well, that makes sense. Did I buy that from a channel? It doesn't have a channel account. Um. I did buy them on a channel. So I played. Oh, did I play that? Oh, I don't think I did. Oh no, it wasn't two dollars. It was it was it was one dollar nineteen cents. It cost me for the whole bundle. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I've missed one. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Fuck! I've missed one game. Uh, it's 99 megabytes. Let's just, just download this. Because I hate myself. Sad. I'm so. Uh, I'm so sad. Life be simple. Why? Why? 
Why? Why? on Steam as well. <sighs> Just extract this. That just sounds sad and <sighs> resentful of the world. Right. Last but not least. It's probably least. I mean, they're all least. Every single one of these is least. Right. Last but not least. Krog Wars. With a start screen and also a digital homicide proudly presents screen. <laughs> fucking the most depressing thing is that, that game's on Steam and it was the one I missed and it's on Steam. That game is on Steam. Sorry. 